Well, I'm dry first. Let me let me get something. Yeah. What you want? It's up to you. Dude, you've been saying up to you for the past guess. like twenty damn minutes. Be my guess. Huh? Be my guess. I do like that one, but you don't have much of it left. Hello, and welcome to a special edition of the Jason Cabin Experience. I'm here with my friend Ke Kevin. Yep, and today we're going to play a game because Jason Kevinus has a lot of coins. And he can explain to you what these coins are. However, we're going to pick up random to see if he remembers any of the stories regarding these. And let's go. And by the way, what are you drinking next? I'm trying to find a drink right now. And he has like 10 or 15 drinks here, and I'm not quite sure which one I want. I don't want rum. All right, let's do... The Frank August. That's a good one. I mean, every time I, like, I mean, I just started drinking this, and I just taste it, I feel like I need a cigar with it. Actually, let's do this one. What is that? I don't know. It's a blade, blade and bow. This one I know, but I ain't trying to like drop name drop here. There you go. Oh, yeah, finish that first. All right. So I'm going to pick the game is, I'm going to look in the, the center camera. Okay. All right. The game is, I'm going to pick a random coin out of his. Hundred of collection of military coins. And let's see if he remembers any story regarding it, how he got it. All right. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. All right. I'm not ready. So this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Like do this like a nighttime live, you know, oh, yeah, hang yeah. out with the guys, you know, this talk. I know. I'm are you cheers. What eight ten Anyways. years of Yep, 10 years. All you people online, you better watch this shit. Anyways, I know it's probably going to LinkedIn. <laughs> I probably should should hold back the language out. Oh, like I've cussed on, on lives on LinkedIn. Though. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, say something. Fuck, bitch, ho. Damn, bro. You just going to say that just without content? You just, I mean, the context is like... You just it's, say it? It's First, first Amendment free speech. Yeah, yeah, but you just say it. I mean, you just say context. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm, you just say, I'll be sleeping and you'd be like, wake your ass up. hole, yeah. bit, bitch. Like, <laughs> bro. Yeah. But anyways, y'all didn't hear that from me. I'm just reciting what he said. Anyway, sure. All right. Let's, let's do this. I'm going to pick a random coin. Like, literally, this war hero has. I won't go that far. I mean, of course you won't. Like, if I was Superman, I won't say I'm Superman either. All right. I'm going to pick the coolest one. Not the coolest, but I'm going to pick one. And let's see his I'm story. I'm sure I can remember most of them. Well, I, I know. You're, you're, you're too awesome. You probably don't remember half of them, but I'm going to pick one. Don't even look. Dun, 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 I, I'm, dun, I'm dun, spinning dun. it. All right. Defend and serve, and it's a, it's it's a Captain America flag. Let me see it. All right, you can take a look. Um. Okay, so I got this. I was uh, uh, deployed to Afghanistan, Kabul. Uh man. Yeah, this one is has the brain lock. Yeah, I'm not remembering this one. <laughs> I knew I was coming. I remember this one. I know. How did you it. get it? I know it's like I think I think an AG Colonel Gary just sent me. Okay, but beyond that, um, what you do? What you what? What do you think you did? Besides being awesome. Be, yeah, besides being awesome, because I, like, come on, you're always awesome. I but mean, like, besides being being awesome. Minister, I know what. For I know exactly what you did. Yeah, I'm I have a brain like this one. This, you, you, I'm, I'm starting off bad. I'm starting off bad. I'm starting off bad. Yeah, he is. So far, one Captain American Shield. I'm starting off bad. 
I know it's an ad in general coin. So the, in, in the army, ad in general is AG, like the HR in the military. Yep. So maybe like did some personnel stuff. I'm not sure. You probably wrote a badass award or something, huh? Yeah. But anyways, Captain America. So zero for one. Zero for one. All right. Uh oh. All right. Here it goes. Don't look, man. Don't look. I can't, I can't see. You sure? Yeah, I, I'm sure. I can't. It looked like you could see. No. All right. I can't see any there. I'm just literally just grabbing one. All right. This one. Hold on. Lobos can do. First cap. Yeah. So that's one of the coins. Like, I have a lot of coins. That's one of the coins. Like, I would, I like. If someone tried to steal for me, it'd be a problem, right? Because like, what do you mean? That's one of the coins I'm proud of, right? Like, I actually did some shit, right? Like, like what? Like when I was enlisted, I was E4, E5 at First oh. Cav, 427 Aviation Battalion. We were like, we did, we did some shit there, right? Like, we did like, some like. Oh yeah, there's helicopters on it and all kinds of like shit. Helicopters, mm -hmm. NTC, like we did, like that's a good group of people, right? Like so, yeah, like shit. It, it's it's kind of bad to say, but my times E4. Was way better than my time was 04. What? Way better. Wait, was it the time when there used to be such a thing as E4 Mafia? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, no doubt. No cool. Doubt, yeah. I, yeah. No you, doubt. You, you young soldiers out yeah. there? No doubt, yeah. I'm not sure if it's still going on. I think there but is. It's not the same. It might, it, might, it might still be going on, but there used to be a thing called the E4 Mafia. All right. That's, that's the one of the coins I'm, I'm like, yeah, that's like... Okay, yeah. so... I'm proud of that one. Cool. I, I'm proud of all my coins. That one's like has a special place in my heart. Oh, tell me about it. You know how many, like how hard it was for me to just get one coin? Like, I, I'm sure my 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 buddies are, if if they was to watch, they probably, like, yeah, I know we got one coin too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this guy has a lot. Don't look. Okay. No, you're looking. I'm looking at you. All right. No, see, you're looking down. I look down, man. No, you can't look down. I, I don't care. Like, You're looking at your computer. Okay, I look. I look no, at no, camera. don't look at. Yeah, look at the computer. Okay. All right, here we go. This one it says, "War answer the call of duty," and I don't know. Let me get one of these. Hey, did they? Did they see it? No. No, which one? Which one? It, it's too far away. Maybe, maybe, maybe that one, yeah. That? They can see that, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Larry? No, they can see it good. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, snaps. Tell me about this coin. You know, second to none. Let me check it out. Hmm? Let me see it. See what? The coin. What coin? <laughs> Oh man, I thought you know this. Second and none. Right, let me see okay, okay, here you go. Okay, so this one. So this I'll, guy's a hero. So no, not really. No, seriously. So I was stationed career All for three your, years. Your internet people. I was stationed career sure. for three years. Two years in Seoul, Korea. One year in Camp Rear Cloud, two ID. And two ID is like it's like the division that defends Korea, right? I hey, wait, wait, wait. We gotta establish whose camera we're talking to the audience. This one right here. Okay, then stop looking at that one. Oh, yeah. Look at that one. Good, good point. Yeah, yeah. We kind of know the camera. I, I totally forgot which one we should establish yeah. who yeah. we're talking about. Okay. So this two star general gave me this coin. I wish I remember his name. He's a black CG, that coolest guy ever, like leader's leader, right? And he gave me this coin because, well, besides the fact I'm awesome, of course, <laughs> I was doing some stuff. I made him. I made the place look better or better, whatever. But yeah, like two ideas are good place for to be, right? This, this is a good that's, assignment. That's where I was. That's where I was. And all all the guys, all my buddies were like, fuck, can I over there on freaking this this podcast right now? I, I, I kid you not. Yeah. But, all right. Cool. All right. You got that one. So, so far, you got one wrong. All right. This, this is going to be good. Because I feel like you were looking earlier. All right, here we go. Hold the, hold the gate. Night, what? Nineteen August, nineteen forty-two. Oh shit! 
Tell me about that coin. Hold on, let me let me show the camera. Real quick. Since I know the audience. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. It. Yeah, a little bit. This is good now. All right. Tell me about this one. Okay, so I was a brigade S1, a 42nd MP brigade. And I basically, you're like, a, I'm charged with HRF brigade. This coin is 759th. They were the pretend of four cars, four, four cars in Colorado. So okay. I had to do the HR for them in Colorado. And the Ben's pretend came out. I did something, I don't know what it was. I can't remember, but he gave me this coin for like taking care of them, making sure that enough people and all that kind of stuff, right? Okay. Okay. So out of all these coins, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab another. Like, let's do two more, okay? I'm going to grab something. And then out of this coin, you got to tell me the one that has the most coolest story okay. out of them all, right? But first, I'm going to grab them okay. randomly. Hopefully, it's not the coolest story, but I'm going to grab it randomly, okay? Like, no joke, this guy has so many coins. I mean... I used to beg for these coins and I only got one. Actually, I got two. I lost one, but anyways. And then this this first sergeant, he's yeah, a cool yeah. tell that story. That's yeah, he's a he's a really cool dude in, in, in Silicon Valley. He dropped a coin on me. And I wish I had my coin or something that could trump his coin to do it. Now, for you lookers or uh, onlookers on the thing. I'll let Jason explain what what the the coin dropping is all about. So, so coin dropping is like basically like let's suppose like someone gives like five people the same coin, right? And then you go up to like two, two, three, two, three days later, you go to a bar. If someone drops a coin and no one has a coin, you have to, you have to buy the drinks, right? Yep. If I remember you, correctly, right? You have to buy the person that dropped the coin a drink. But if someone drops a more important coin, exactly. I hate to say the word more important, but a coin that no, ranks. No, no, no. It, it ranks. Like it, suppose, like you have a you have an 06 coin and you drop it. If someone drops a one star coin, then like you're you're like you have my drinks. Yep, exactly. So that's the case that happened to me. And you veterans out there, I'm on to you. I'm never gonna leave without my coin ever again. Because I kid you not, I'm gonna. At least drop a coin on y'all too. However, I picked the coin earlier and I'm gonna bring it to the camera. And it's something is it's also something that hold dear to me. Yeah. This this is good. All good? Yeah. Tell me about this coin. And you hurt my feelings, it's okay. But we we might go outside and fight. Okay, so I got this coin while I was in Korea at 2nd Infantry Division headquarters. Um, and so this is coin number 46, right? So this two-star general that was there. Yeah. So the first general was there. I worked for like six months. This next, this next general came in. He started this thing, like, you did something like extra, extraordinary, like really like, like good. what? jumping jacks it could be like do anything, <laughs> right it could be anything right yeah it could be like do a good report it could be like do like like maybe like um score over like a high score pt highest weapon score i am high be, score pt it holy could, it could be a lot of a lot of things right maybe like do a and, good presentation and, and, hold on before you start all you people i always scored a 300 and above because that's how badass i am you know all my Yes. All my homies, they're gonna be like, yeah. You're you're such you're a full fucking liar, you're full of shit. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. go on. So I got the I got the coin number forty six for that, right? Yeah. I'm talking about the two ID, right? Yeah. I actually I, I did a lot of shit two ID. Were you here you were you here uh, in uh, Korea? Oh uh, you're in the Camper yeah. Cloud, yeah. Yeah, they're in the Korea. I did a lot of shit in two ID. Like I did some shit in Korea, right? I like Oh yeah. I, I mean not to brag, know? but I, I was what? a fucking superstar in Korea. Oh I know. Trust me. Last time I was in Korea, I was talking to a woman and she said, Oh, you know Jason Kavnis. <laughs> and I was like, Holy shit, how you know that name? You know, like, trust me. I 
Yeah, I did some shit in Korea. Oh yeah, you did. Like was, holy shit. Yeah, I was a super. There's a bunch player. of kids with a lot of beard over there. All <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> I'm just exactly right. I have, I have a lot of a lot of what's called war babies. <laughs> yeah, war babies, war like two year olds. Yes. With, yes. With, with, you know, like I was there toes of five shows. Yeah, I got. Like, oh, yeah, actually, I, I, a lot of people going to high school right now. Yeah, they're in high school, but they got that that gray, gray beard. <laughs> Texas accent, everything. Yep, and they they keep saying they're from Texas, but we yeah. know they were, ain't from <laughs> Texas, man. All right, there's two more, so I'm gonna. Oh my god, I like you're the only person I ever see with so many coins like this. Like, if y'all don't believe me, and, and come you know, over here and take a look at this shit. And one bad thing about coins, like coins are good, but actually, like coins a lot of times like people want to give you coins. So they have to give the work, do the work to give you an award, right? That's yeah, that's true. Thing. That's true. A lot of times, like all these coins I have, I still got an award for it, right? But a lot of times, oh, I just give you a coin. Fuck, you know, I don't have the time to give you an AM or ARCOM or whatever. Case yeah, yeah, be. yeah. Here's a coin. Sure. Don't be wrong. Coins are a lot fucking cooler, right? Way cooler. Way cooler. Like, like I, but I, then, I, I have like fucking a bunch of awards. Like, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, Coins but then, cool. you know. Coin is the story. When when you decide to give a, a person that's dyslexic like me to write awards for people, you better give people coins yes. because man. Yes. Yes. However, it I do write really cool back before Chat GPT was even around. And 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 the funny thing is, I rely a lot on my 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 soldiers too. Some of them are super smart. All no, right. Not so much. No, a lot of them. So that's one thing about the military, right? I mean, off the subject, right? So, man, so I'm going to go with a little tension. Like, a lot of people, like, they talk about the military. Like, people, like, you know, a lot of veterans mess up when they say, I'm only going to hire veterans, right? Really? Well, really? I don't know. Because this me personally, I've worked with four and people work for me, but I will not hire to cut my grass, right? Yeah, sure. But there, there, there are those ones that, like, had your back from day one, yeah, right? Too, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, I mean, like, I have a few there. One thing I'm proud of too, like, all my time military as an officer, listen, like, I'm, 80% of the people are still friends with me on Facebook. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's something like, I'm proud of. I was enlisted, right? So, the coolest thing is, like, one time I, w I went back to the barracks. These fools had a, <laughs> a three story freaking beer bong, right? And I was like, dude, these guys are idiots. So anyways, I go back to my, my barracks. However, I put laundry in earlier, and they're all folded nicely and put on my bed. That's, that's when I realized, I was like, shit, these, these dudes, even though they're going to go crazy and like play beer pong at night and sneak girls in in their trunks, mm -hmm. you know y'all do it. Don't lie. They and I, do it. I know that's why, that's why in Fort Lewis, they make you pop the trunk. Yeah, exactly. We ruin it for y'all. And you know, okay, well, you know, you know. But anyways, here we go. Two more, right? Yeah. So, so quick story, right? Yeah. So this kind of commander was, right? I was commander Italy, right? And sometimes my soldiers, like, go to Poi. Because we had a sport once here with the airport grade. They go to visit mm -hmm. and stuff. They would, like, go through four man teams, right? Every time they came back, I had like fucking case of beer for them. Which Bush or what? No, it's, it's like a German beer. Oh, German beer. Yeah. Mm. And here's another story for you. I've told this story on my podcast before, right? So when it's Vicenza, Italy, there's a place there called Crazy Bull, right? Everyone, everyone was there, right? It's a place to be, right? So every Thursday night, they had like salsa night, right? Everyone went, right? Salsa night. Salsa night. Thursday like, night. Like you mean like yes. dancing salsa? Yes. Yeah, so it would be fucking packed, right? Like Italians, military people, okay. spouses, whatever, we pack shit, right? And so one time I went over a friend, right? Just like, I'll go for a couple of hours, right? I mean, it was like eight, nine o'clock, right? Like, 10 of my soldiers were there, right? The bar, right? Hey, hey, sir. How you doing? Hey, have a shot with us. I'll have a shot with you. Have another shot. And yeah. so I would hurt you fucked up or what? They're trying to, right? And I don't so, mean they're trying to. You know they did. Don't no, lie. No, no. no. I, don't I, I, lie. I, I, I fucked them. Then, I fucked them. As, as I enlisted, we spread apart. Purposely just to salute these fools, which is you. Yes. You know, like we, we give dodge, that proper and I, distance. And I would dodge your motherfuckers. Yeah, but you know, y'all be like, 
ruling rags and just holding your shit Dude, up no, there. But I, I fucked him though, right? How? So I overheard him saying, "Hey, if we if we, if we drink, if we got a commando drunk, we have to be be to them all. Keep it your drunk, right? Mm -hmm. They're doing tequila shots, right? But they didn't know this. Me and my wife, my three kids, would go have lunch every Sunday at Crazy Bull with the owner, right? Sure. So I knew the owner. I knew the bartenders. Sure. So after two shots, on the slide, I tell the bartender, from now on, put water in mine. Oh. We don't. Dude, you're an asshole. Supposedly. You're an asshole. Supposedly, we don't 20 more shots, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But and then they, you're just drinking the next water. Day, I ran them fuckers to the fucking death. Oh, you're that douchebag. They couldn't you, believe it. You see that? But uh, but they like, damn, what the fuck's going on? Yeah, I'm Captain, a fucking. Captain is a fucking like, what the fuck? Right? I'm a fucking. And, and then like, infinite. of course, later on, like later on, like twenty years later, it's on the truth. They all cuss me. You Why would you do that? What? Don't don't just say you're like like the Superman out of all this. Like, don't tell them that I mean, shit. It's funny at the time, right? Well, I mean, you know, yeah, I get over me, right? They trying to get me drunk on yeah, shots, sure. on PT, you know. Sure. I mean, I wouldn't. I had like, I, you know, I had to tell them like, you can't, you can't fuck with me, like. You know, my my favorite word is, oh fuck, dude, I've been out of military so long. Zonk, zonk, zonk yeah, yeah, oh, no, zonk. That's there, my favorite word. No zonk that day. Manner. And they all thought like, okay, we we might, we might run like maybe half a mile. Nope. Every time I hear zonk, like, I'm like, like mile, man, my commander. People drunk. passing out, like, like yeah. And then later on, I found out that. The 10 people were there emailed a call to everyone. Don't worry about Pete tomorrow. Just show up. We got we got the commander drunk. He's drunk as fuck. What? Yeah. Y'all fools had a lock like that? Yeah. Dude, none of us had emails. Not emails, maybe phone calls. Yeah, I think we had emails back then. No way. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, y'all probably. Pretty sure we did. Yeah. Emails. We had some way to communicate, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was you know what? But yeah. It's been so long it. ago, I don't know. That's one of my, this is my favorite army stories, right? I remember because that. I end up working at the, what is it called? You know, the, um, I was writing freaking awards for people yeah. and, and then like I had a little shop. What is that called? S1. No. Order room. S2 is like, oh, order room. room. Or, oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I end up being the order room person. I thought it was such a sham ass job, too. Yeah. <laughs> dude. I was like done anyway. So this is the, the last year. That's that's one of my favorite art stories on me, right? How I I don't, I don't say I fuck him over, but like that, like, you motherfuckers trying to get over me, I'm gonna fuck you, right? Oh yeah, how do you do that? We ran, yeah, right, I was like just running, like running, running. Dude, fucking, dude. Just throwing up, fucking like. Dude, at Fort Lewis or where? Vicenza, Italy. Oh okay. Because man, at Fort Lewis, there's there's a fucking... back then you could do what the fuck you want. I don't see you could do what the fuck you wanted to. Jesus, Fort Lewis is just like fucked up. There's this hill that is really like steep incline. My first sergeant Patois, oh, I'm sorry to drop your name, but it, he used to tell me a story of like, if you fuck up, I'm gonna make you do the uh, run up and down and grab an Article 15 or not Article, yeah, like the pages from the UCMJ. I'm gonna make you rip one and bring it back to me, like. <laughs> Holy fuck, when he said that, I was like, I remember looking at the UCMJ, I'm like, you know what, I'm never gonna do something bad, because yeah. this shit, I don't know about running back up and down and ripping pages and bringing it back down, like, no way, that's so, like, brutal. So how long were you in the, in the army? You know, that shit felt like 20 years, man. Yeah. Like, that's I felt like I shrunk, I felt like it was 20 years. And I shrunk like three inches. Yeah. I swear I'm six foot. I'm the tallest yeah. Asian guy ever. But yeah, people don't realize the fuck this whole the military life takes on you. Yeah, like, I'm a believer. I don't care if you don't go to war or anything. If you just like do four years, oh dude, you should get. I'm making thirty percent. You you have to just the fucking wearing chair doing PT every day. The not just PT every day. It's just like that. You have no choice. Like you can't say no. Like it. it, it like all you soldiers out there, you understand, but, but literally, you can't say no. And at first, when everyone say, "Hey, who who wants a detail?" That's some cool as shit. Like, oh shit, I want to do the detail. But then you realize you're fucking loading equipment, you're doing railhead, and you're doing all that like military shit, right? Yeah. All right, let me pick the other right. two. Yeah. 
Can we do another drink? Oh, we can. We can. Okay. It, it, this time it's up to you. Okay. Because the last, the, the camera's the witness. Yeah. The last time I poured yeah. two of them. Yeah. Um, but anyways, you guys, online. Just do the Frank August again. Jason Cavaniss, you have no idea. Come over here and look at his coin collection. I have literally over like 20 or 30 coins on this table that I'm randomly picking. I was lucky to get one, which I cherish like dearly. And I dropped that on this first sergeant that was in SBC. And if he was to watch, he would say, I trump you. <laughs> and I end up buying him a drink anyways. Yeah. Like there was no point of me even dropping that shit. Yeah. However, let me pick the two. Don't look. I can't see you. See, like, look, every time I reach, you, you're looking. I mean, this is a box. Don't look. Okay. Let me look at the camera. Don't look. Like, every time I put my hand, you just, your eyes over here. This is natural. Well, don't be natural. Okay. <laughs> I'll be unnatural. Oh, shit, for you Marines out there. I don't even know what this is. Hold on. Oh, shit. All right, got to edit this out. I mean, it's alive, so you can't edit it. Oh, you can't? No. Okay. In, in that case, you set me up. So, you know, people on my work are probably going to watch this and be like, oh, shit. You're Kevin Negre. But in reality, it's Jason. Set up. I'm smacking my fucking camera. Fucked up. <laughs> So my guy Kevin, this is my guy right here, right? He's always been on my side, always been on my side. Oh, nice. Has me a lot. All this podcast stuff is all him. Like oh. you, got, you got to put it over here. What? Like put it like. I here. got it. It's like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's 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 just moving towards my lips and it's uncomfortable. Yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna show everybody. This point. Are you on on camera two? Two, yeah. Yeah. Is it blurry or is it clear? It's, it's good enough. <laughs> What's good enough? Is it clear or is it clear? It's good enough for government work. Oh, man. Marines can to kill me after this. Swear to God. Uh, yeah, I can see it. Clear? Yeah. Jason, how he got this? Let's ask Jason how he got this. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you I have no clue. No, I, I guys tell you how you got this because I'll, I'll tell you how you got this. Okay. You're right. You're, you're driving in the M1 Abram. Oh, 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 I know how. And then uh, oh, I know this, this, this really pretty lieutenant came up to you and said, Hey, Jason, my name is Pretty. And you said, yeah, my name is Handsome, <laughs> right? Is that how that worked? No. no. Okay. I'm pretty not. Never mind. So this is this unique by Annie Lopez. Anna, so, oh, <laughs> sorry. Her name's Anna Lopez. <laughs> sorry, Andy, I didn't Andy, realize it was pretty. Andy, I thought it was pretty, but no, Andy uh, Lopez. So actually, okay. It had nothing to do with the military. What? So, <laughs> Lopez. Okay, he got a fake coin, y'all. Yeah, this this discard us that one. Actually, Andy Lopez, he does sales, right? A lot of startups. He's a okay. marine. Actually, he's a podcast guest. Really? Yeah. And he gave me this coin after he came after he came to the podcast. And you mean people still give people coins even though they're but, out of the military? But he has some. He does some kind of volunteer stuff for the Marines, right? Oh, some okay. Kind of like like some kind of veteran military Marine um non nonprofit stuff. That's what this is right here. Fuck. 
Yeah. So no, All right. no, no sexy story. No army military story. Well, I don't know. It it sounds sexy at first, right, y'all? I know y'all. I mean, shit. You know the story started out pretty cool. Until oh, yeah, no you, doubt. you no and, doubt. And, and until I thought, you, I until I told the truth. Yeah, until you told the truth. But anyways, we're gonna ignore your truth and we're gonna pretend there was a sexy story to yeah. it. I'm not gonna ask you about the Korea one. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's ask you about. Let's do one more because there's this coin that I want to show. However, let's ask him about this Korea one. Actually, let me bring it to you, to the camera. Please tell me. Don't laugh. Is it visible? Yeah. Sure, it's not blurry. It's visible. Okay. I have one more corn that I'm going to talk about. But, however... If you have a channel, you can't, you can't like, lean it all the way back like that. I told you I wasn't going to lean back. I, I literally... I mean, not you, but the microphone. Oh. I was about to say, the camera, like, witnessed that I walked away when it fell. Actually... <laughs> You you were leaning back like this. Not really. Five bucks. Five bucks. Somebody tell me. You might lose that money. Well, you will lose that money because I know no. I was over there. But anyways, we're all over here drinking coffee and pretending we're drinking liquor. Mm. Not really. I'm drinking. Before. All those people that been on on Jason's show before. You know y'all been drinking. That's up a couple of you. Yeah, some people don't drink. I, yeah. Like I don't force anyone to drink. Oh, but right. obviously, you know, if you drink, it's a lot, a lot better conversation. It goes both ways. Yeah. All right. Hey, could everyone hear me? Hey, here we go. All right. What's the coin you're gonna give me? What the hell? I just gave it to you. No, you put it back down. No, I didn't. Yeah, there's no coin over here. That's the coin. Let me see it. It's the Korea one I just told you about. Yeah. Let me see it. And by the way, I came here earlier today, and this guy was watching Blackpink nonstop on repeat, XG, and then LX. and then also a Japanese uh, XG LX. XG yeah, LX. they they go really hard rapping. What yeah. are they called? XG ALX. Yeah. Bacona. Yeah, watch that. During... They're trying to bring the metal teeth and stuff back from back in the day. Let's not do that, y'all. Let's... Like O'Connor's redid, like Jay Z song. Let's not do that. And this microphone's attacking me. Jason, get a board on this man. Let's see, they get a new table. Yeah, or a board. You know, like something. Is well, it... maybe not put the microphone way back there. Okay, put it over here. But it's rolling though. All right, you know what? I'm gonna hold it like I'm an MC. Check it out. Just like that, yes. Let me see the okay. Coin. Here's the coin. Okay. I mean, this guy has over 20 coins here that he hasn't even talked about. There's one coin that it looked really old and I want to talk to him about, but we don't have that much time. Oh, wow. Okay. So this coin here, I got out of the military, right? And I was talking to some random dude somewhere. I don't remember where. But yeah. uh, I told him I was in the military. And it's like, he's dude. like. Wait, wait, wait. Stop that. You mean I could go talk to some random dude and say I was in the military and get a fucking cool coin? Yes, you can. If your name's hey, Jason, if your name's Jason Cavanis. Anyone on that's watching, please send me a cool coin. So, I, I was somewhere right, and just talked to some random dude, and I thought I was in the military. We were just talking, whatever. And All right, you see that shit? That's attacking me right now. You know, I'm going to be cool and, and so, I'm going to hold this right here and I, I'm, I'm going to pretend nothing happened. And I can remember where he was at, right? And this guy who's like, hey, my father's in Korean War. I never served, but to like, um, what's the word looking for? Um, to honor my father's service, right? I decided to give it like coins to military members. What? And so he gave me this coin. So wait a minute. The family member also have coins? I guess he made, I don't know how he did, he made that. Like, his father's served in Korea and to honor other military members. Oh. He like made coins up to honor his father. And that's where I get this coin. That's where I get this coin from. This coin is like the 50th, 50th anniversary of the Korean War. 
This is right. random. This is some random dude, right? So I just changed my mind on what coin I'm gonna put next. So bear with me, because I'm I'm gonna try to find like the weirdest looking and the oldest looking coin, because I'm hoping he doesn't remember anything about it. Give me a second. This one's call. This one's calling out to me, as it's definitely army related. And I would go show y'all's, but this microphone is gonna fall on the ground. The anti Kevin microphone. Yeah, that's why. The only thing that you can solve is just put a board. All right. This one. You know, who designed coins and put it in circles? It's hard for a dyslexic to read it. Because I don't know where the beginning or the end. <laughs> there, you read it. Okay. Um, United States Army Command General Staff. Okay. So this coin, so in the Army, when you get promoted to major, right? You get promoted to major, they send you a school called, uh, back in the day, they called a command school and staff, something like that. Now it's called intermediate level education. But basically, you can make major. And like, if you make major. What is a major, man? Oh my God. I have no idea how to explain that. So it's like, it's like, like it's major a, it, issue. It's an officer rank. Like, so second lieutenant, lieutenant, captain, major. And so if you make major in the army, everything's by like, what's the word looking for? Like, like rank, structure, a competitiveness, right? Yeah. So if you make, you make major, let's suppose it make it easy, right? Suppose a thousand majors get promoted in like 2025. Did you say a thousand majors? I'm, get... I'm making the number. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. More than that. It's arbitrary. This, this it's make, an arbitrary this number. Make, this make easy, right? Yeah, yeah. Suppose it's... a thousand majors, and, and this is back in like in like 2000, in the 2000, right? I don't know how they do it now, right? Yep. And so let's suppose a thousand majors get promoted to major in 2005. So, so a thousand majors, you think, oh, I got to make major, I'm going to have a good career. But back in the day, only 500 go to ILE. What is Eileen? It's like a year school in Kansas. Oh, it's it sounds like a beautiful girl. Intermediate level education. And so let's suppose you're top 50% and you go to Eileen. Your chance of making football colonel and having a great career is way better if you don't get selected, right? If you don't get selected? To Eileen, yeah. Eileen is like one of those like a... But what happens if you get selected? You have a good chance of making colonel. Oh, okay, colonel. okay. But you don't get selected, your chances of getting promoted are kind of same, right? Of course, you overcome. Of course, you don't get promoted, you always overcome it. And if you get selected, you always got to fuck it up and no, no, take advantage of the situation. But I at least like that's like the fucking okay, okay. Uh, decisive point. I'm I'm sure the audience want to know how much running do you have to do? In I at least? Yeah. Fuck a lot. Fuck. You hear that? You got to do a lot of running. I mean, you still have past PT tests and you like, you said, oh, do you have, do you guys have to consistently get 300? I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on. It's, um, uh, it's pretty much like, you know, <laughs> it's like, um, what's what we're looking for? Don't tell me it's less than 300. It's like a separate standard, right? You gotta, you gotta score higher, right? Like higher you, than 300? I mean, you can't score no 220. You can if you want to. But oh, like, like as an officer. You gotta, you gotta score high. You oh gotta, shit! So you, you gotta, gotta score. You have to dig by example and stuff, right? right. Oh yeah. <laughs> of course, <laughs> the good thing is also usually do peach by your own and stuff. You know, like yeah. I lead do peach on your own, but yeah, it's like. Well, you know what's funny? My my ex all asked me one day. He's like, "Hey, Kevin, I want to." Uh, or, sorry, not Kevin. They call me Penna at the time. Hey, hey, Penna, come to the uh, the ex all party. I didn't realize I was about to get smoked for like 45 minutes straight. <clears throat> what kind of bullshit party is that, man? <clears throat> but anyways, I just pulled this thick ass sword right here. And they said, and so like, I'm a, not going to pull another coin. So There's this too a, many there. So this is a real fucking rumor sword. Holy shit. Oh, this, dude, this looks like the, 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 the thing that's on your leg. Yeah, it is. It is. I so you got a tattoo of it. Yeah. Yeah. Holy it shit. Did, yeah. So explain about this. So with this, so I was, I was a Brigade S1 for a 46th MP Brigade, like too fucking long, right? Protector 1, November 9th. 
degenerate. Thir- <laughs> Holy shit, this knife is. This, I mean, my it's heavy, knife. right? Oh, yeah, it's heavy. I am. And so, knife. usually, if you're like a staff officer, you don't say like a year, two years. I was a brigade, like, for like almost like over four years. And so, this uh, the brigade commander, Robert Cherry Dash, gave me this, like, I actually give all brigade staff officers this, but it really meant something to me, right? Dude, this is freaking it's awesome, awesome ass right? blade. It's, and it's sharp as fuck, right? Yeah, like if I could show the audience, like, I mean, other than li- it looking like a toy, but <laughs> I kid you not. This I mean, that's some, metal. Dude, that's some like, real, like, that's some on. fucking Roman like, shit. I, I feel like, just to be honest, I feel like I need a shield and be, and kick somebody down a hole. I know, right? <laughs> this is Sparta. But anyways. I mean, it's a real deal. It is. If you know right there, the, the glue is still on. That's glue? Yeah. Oh, I thought, it, I thought it was oil. No, it's, it's, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's glue. Yeah, it's glue. It's hard. Yeah. Holy shit, man. Yeah. That's hey, a... let me sharpen this. How are you going to sharpen it more than it is? No, even more. How? I just, I just bought some fucking sharpener from Timu. You know, if I can go stab some people to sharpen it up. No, I'm just going to sit there for like 20 hours sharpening this shit. I mean, it's, it's pretty damn sharp. Yeah. But yeah, it's definitely like a first offensive weapon. Let me let me make it Japanese. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyways, you know, this this has been a, a incredible <clears throat> I know, sorry coughing. But this has been a, an incredible experience anyways. Um y'all really have to come take a look at his his collection and every single one of these coins not joking like when you talk about like a a a hero you know like i'm gonna see how much i could carry in my hand right there's so many coins here like when i first heard about jason cavanis back in the day like i was back in the day yeah way back in the day 15 years no 10 years 10 years (laughs) <laughs> 10 years. years. 10 years. Did we met in 2017. No, 2011. No, we're Yeah, it was 2011. Okay. I just got out of the military yeah. and then, uh, uh, sorry, Stephen, uh, introduced me mm-hmm. or actually he mentioned you. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and at that time I was, I was still in the military. Like, literally, I don't know if I can keep going and I don't know how many. Points I could fit in my hand, but this guy literally has so many coins. Like I don't even know if I could fit all of. It. This one's really thin, though. Yeah. What is that? Like a it's college? Not, it's not my fraternity coin. Oh, I knew it. College, it's not military. College, not you know, super thin. <laughs> Why am I coughing? Bro? I don't know. I got COVID. I think you need to drink something else. Got COVID. You're about to get it. Okay. You're about to get it. No, have you had COVID before? Yeah. I've never had it. Well, you're about to get it right now. I've never had it. At least oh. not, not, not that I know of. Well, you're about <laughs> you're about to get it. He's about to get it right now. This is a cure for COVID. No, for... it has to be 151 at least. But anyways, this guy has so many. Kid you not. Is that two or one? The camera? Yeah. Pretty sure that's two. Okay. This guy has so many coins. There's one that looks like hella ancestry. <coughs> and I, I'm afraid to even talk about it because it's like first calf. First calf. That's you know, shit. like yeah. wings of war. Like shit. Nobody talks about that kind of shit anymore. You know, I don't know if it's true. Y'all correct me. <coughs> but there was no such thing as a stress card, and you never had a cell phone no. at basic training. No. Right? <laughs> All my buddies out there would say the same thing because we used to sneak around and try to, you know, call. And then, like, you literally have so many coins. Like, I don't even know what this is. Like, is that even a coin or is that a necklace? <laughs> like, it's sure. a coin. Like, what is it? It's a coin. How did you get this one? Actually, that one. Okay, so this one. Other than this Captain America seal that says Patriots. Well, shit. 
only 150. Okay. Oh, dude, there, there's only 158 of them. Yeah. And you're 158. So this coin here is like not really. It's a coin, but it's not. This coin, they did this. This is like kind of like anti-military. It's kind of fucked up, right? How? Because this coin, they did this coin. How is that coin anti-military? It's, it's, not, like, it's not anti-military, but like anti-coin, whatever. So this coin, this 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 coin. They, oh my god, this is embarrassing. Oh, show the first camera. This, they give this coin to everyone who went to a Christmas party. A Christmas party? <laughs> no wonder why it looks like that. This this acts like a, like a Christmas ornament, a Christmas ornament coin. Who went to a Christmas party? They, everyone got this coin. Is that why they 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 like literally? Yeah, it's a Christmas ornament. A lot of people don't have coins to ornament. give you anymore. It's a Christmas ornament. Yeah, it looks like a Christmas ornament, literally. Like, <laughs> look at it. That shit looked like a Christmas ornament. It's all was because I'm a Christmas yeah. ornament. <laughs> but I gotta tell you, there's one gangster ass coin out. Like, even has a ribbon and all kinds of shit. I don't even know what it is. Oh, so that one, it's not a really coin. So, um, my like, friend in the literally. army. My branch army was added general, right? A uh, what? Added, I was a AG officer, right? A what? AG officer. Oh, AG. And you're, you're 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 the person that we call when we we feel like uh our our, our sergeant is being too rough on us. Pretty much, pretty much. Okay. And so, I was yeah. stationed for Lewis. As a thing, like in the in the civilian war, there's a thing called a uh, society human resource manager, right? In the, okay. in the military, it's called Adjutant General Regiment Regiment yeah, yeah, Association. Yeah, yeah. And so, the AG Regiment is a Mount Rainier chapter at Fort Lewis, right? Yeah. They had that. No one is involved. Had like they had, Man, like, they had that new building though. Yeah. They moved into a new building. By the way, they had, they had like five active members. They had an AG on ten years, right? So I took over as the president, right? Yeah. I took over. In three years, uh, the first I took over, we did AG ball, right? Two hundred people went. What? We did AG ball the first hour. AG there. ball, yeah. Oh, the ball. Like where problem, everyone problem. like dressed, dressed up, and beautiful. Dressed and beautiful. <laughs> so the first year, two hundred yeah. people went. The second year, two hundred fifty people went. Thirty or three hundred people went. Right. Damn. And then when I took over, only five people involved. When I left after three years, like two hundred fifty people were involved. And so that thing is called a Horatio Gates Medal. It's like the second highest award an AG person can get. So. This is the second highest award an AG person can get. An AG person can get. Yeah. This is a pretty big deal. You know what? I wish I met you back in the, the military days, right? So, like, if I were on Fort Lewis, I suppose every year I have to do AG ball on Fort Lewis. I haven't been like 10 years. If I was just pop up, even if I was dressed like this with that medal on, they were like, they were like, they would have been like, I'll say they would bow down to me. They, they give me a lot of respect, right? Of course. Like, dude, are you joking me? It's, 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 it's a nonstop thing. So, was your class A green or is it blue? Mine was blue. Blue, green at first, then blue. Yep. Dude. The blues look pretty good, badass. Though. No, I know. I wanted the blue, but I never got to that point where I had to go to a ball. Nobody wanted to go to the ball with me. And I'm one of those. I haven't said that's very. Like, like sometimes people ask me, I've been military, I say no. But I do miss some balls though, like the balls. And oh, stuff. Yeah, of course. Those were good times, right? Like, I want to go to the balls. The balls were nice. Right. They were a good time. But, meet people. Like this, there's the ball. Military balls are oh, great, right? Dude, it's it's amazing. And, and the pomp, circumstance, the band. Exactly. I wish I. Partake, the grog bowl. Yeah, I wish I could take more. But there used to be a thing that that I don't know if it's still around. To be honest, the NCO ball. The ball. NCO pub. I think those are gone. They've been gone for a while. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I what think are, those have been gone for a while. What are they called? NCO Club. Was it called NCO Club? NCO Club, yeah. Yeah. I miss those. Those have been gone for a while. I mean, I, I just went in the tail end of it mm -hmm. and then it disappeared. Back in the day, these have enlisted clubs. A what? Enlisted clubs. There's an enlisted club? Way back in the days. Like yeah, in there. Tacoma, there's a club called Masa and Top State. That's where all the enlisted go. Back in the day, they used to have enlisted clubs. Really? Yeah. Like, like Germany, South Carolina, when oh, I first came, they were like, this is a club. E4 Below goes, this is a club. And then fucking NCO, E5 Above goes, this is a club. Did you ever go to Korea? Yeah. 
Yeah. There for three years. So in the area of the DMZ, did you ever meet? Did you ever go past? Well, past, did you ever go to any of the, the countryside or anything? I did. My family did. Oh, my okay. family did for the DSA. I never went up there. Got it. You were my, stuck. You were stuck. I kind of wouldn't have wanted to have no, have no like, intention. Yeah, my family went a lot of times. This was, this is actually a GSA tour, Joint Security Association. I think it was called, it's called GSA. They do yeah. tours a lot of time with Delhi, go up there, check out the North Korean stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you really see the North Koreans standing there and you're shouting at them? Yeah, at that they're time? right there. They don't do nothing? They just stay still? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. like five one, five two. So they're my height. They're really short. Oh wait, actually, sorry. Like, you like five six. Ladies right? and gentlemen, I am actually, I was five nine before the military, and now I'm five seven. You're not five seven. You're like five ten. No, I'm five seven now. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. I'm five ten. My my my. It got compressed or something, yeah. right? Yeah, have you done? You need to go to the gym. There's another thing where, like you hang upside down. Dude, I, I bought, you know what's funny? Me and Mina, we were, um, my wife is Mina. We were watching like commercial one day and then I, I bought the inversion. Yeah, fucking, that's inversion, yeah. Yeah, the inversion yeah. shit. And at first it was cool, but then I realized like peeing upside down, you get dizzy because all the blood rushes to you. But it fucking makes your spine feel so good, though. No. You know what makes your spine? I bought this thing on Timu. It's kind of weird at first. Like, I, I feel like I'm getting choked. But it, it's like this, this thing that you put on your neck, and then you, like, you, you squeeze it, and then it, like, stretches your yeah. neck out. Right? At first, I was like, dude, this is weird. But then last night, I, I slept with it on. And this morning, I woke up, and I was like, oh, shit. My the pinch on my shoulder is gone. And it, it only costs like 10 bucks on Timo. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the upside down stuff. Yeah. It makes, it makes my feels like better. But anyways, let's finish this. Cheers. Hey, um, audience people, please like and subscribe. I'm just joking. Exactly. Yeah, I don't give a shit what you all do. Damn, you just slammed that shit. What? Just slammed it. I thought that was cool. I thought that was what we're doing. No. I mean, I thought that was what we we're doing. We okay. Were like, we're like, hey, cheers. Dude, I think, I, man, I can't slam this. Hey, so, um, what's your favorite memory of the military? My favorite memory of the military. In the military or like outside when we're kicking it? The military itself. There, there, no, no, there, there's two different, like, you know, once once you go off on uh, they they say, oh, all right, you guys are off on the weekend and you get to do your weekend yeah, thing. Yeah, you're in the, Or the military, like when you're in the military. In the military. Off duty, on duty. Oh, okay. I would say like one of my 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 memorable thing is like one of my favorite is i had a, a lot of the soldiers like my buddies and stuff like actually meet my 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 family and then we went to the club all together nice yeah um and then another instance is one time I think we were at Yakima or something. When at, at this time, like my weapons and stuff got taken away, and I remember like sitting on the fence with this guy named Chang, this other Asian guy. You know, there's not much Asian people. No. And then we were like sitting there. Oh, I think Ursel was there too, my best bud. And we were throwing throwing rocks across this fence, left-handed, and they looked like such a sissy when they were throwing it. And I was like, why can't you guys just throw these rocks normal? Apparently, they, they're not ambidextric like me. And I didn't realize that was a thing. Mm -hmm. Like I thought that was just normal. I thought everybody could do that. But after seeing that day, <laughs> I was like, 
you know, like seeing them like trying to throw these rocks. That's that's one of my memorable day time. Uh and that but my least my least favorite of, of them all. There's nothing to go. There's this area in Fort Lewis. It's the smoking pit. Right? I used to get smoked and drag my face across the ground because I forgot like a pen or I forgot like a, a, a blue book. And at the time, my uh, my team leader, I'm not gonna say his name. He's he's pretty cool now. Um, but he's a bitch back then. Yeah, back then. He made me drag my face through the fucking like you know how like soldiers dip and yeah. shit. He made me drag my face through the fucking mud. Not just me, Ursel too, and this other guy. I'm not gonna say his name because I don't know if he, he wants to be called. Fun times. Yeah, it was fun times. Yeah, it was, it was so fun. And then in my mind, I was like, one day, bro, you're going to regret it. Like, people have no idea what people don't have to go through, right? However, they have yeah, no yeah. idea. But, you know, it, it's just one of those things. It's like, he had to do what he had to do. You know, like, I get it. Like, yeah. Uh, he had to do what he had to do. That's how you train people. Right? Exactly. And then I met this also other cool dude that I was petrified at first when I first joined the unit is my VC, right? A uh, vehicle commander. It's like the Samoan dude, like just sitting there breathing down my throat. Like, like I don't know if he's doing that intentionally, but because he ended up being like super cool. I think he just, liked you. Yeah, this Hawaiian dude, like he was super cool. He was, you said he's breathing in your neck? No, no, he was just like sitting there like this big old dude, like, you know, I call him Mindy. Yeah. That's his name. But he's like, and I'm like, holy fuck, this guy's about to eat me alive. But anyways, those are the, the memories that I had. That was one of the things that. So, I mean, we won't go into what you're doing right now because you, know, you don't talk about it, but like, yeah. you're pretty, I mean, you're, you're pretty successful right now. Or you do you have a good life. You're doing some good things. Yep. How did the military like set you, set you up for success? Oh, man, dude. The military changed my point of view, right? When I was a younger kid before the military, I thought I was invincible. Like, I literally thought I, I wouldn't die. But when I got into the military, I learned structure. And I learned, hey, asshole, you actually could die. You actually could trip and fall over this log and die. Yeah. It don't take much. Like, 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 it don't take much to die. And then my first sergeant Patois was like, "Panda, it only takes twelve pound of pressure to break." So, and I'm like, "Oh shit!" So random pound only. So random story, right? Yeah. So one time I was walking somewhere, I was hiking right, in Dupont, right. So the other trails, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I was just walking, not paying attention, and I tripped right, and I fell down face down. I mean, you trip on your feet. Or you I, just trip I, on like a... It's like a log. It's like a prelim. I tripped on something, right? Oh, okay. I trip. And I suppose like I tripped here, right? Yeah. Check out, Kevin. I trip here. Here, a, like a spike came out. What the fuck? If I had a trip two feet over, I would have fucking died. Like Hold this, a minute. Is this a booby trap? No, it's just it's like a natural tree or something. It's like, so it's like you trip and then a spike fucking came out? No, so I tripped. But like two feet over, I looked. Like, oh, there was a spike yeah. already. Oh, yeah. A natural spike. I like, dude. I, was, I like, dude. If I don't trip, say, if bro. I took two feet later over, it would fucking, I would die. Yeah. It was like, it's like a net. I don't know what it was. It's like a fucking, basically, it's like a fucking, like a story coming out of the ground, right? Just yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh my God. Man, I, I could have died right now. I was and it's like, it's like that. Death is everywhere. What's I saw my soup dog back today? Six million ways, six million ways to die. Choose one. Yeah, just pick one. Like, you, know, the, you ever watch Star Trek? Oh, of course. Remember the episode one back way back the what, day? What technology nerd that doesn't watch freaking Star Trek? They just show they said like um. And did, by the way, some of this shit is coming true. By yeah. the way, they met these aliens and they told the Star Trek people, "You nothing but fucking bags of water." Which aliens? They made some aliens and said, and they called them like bags of water. Bags because, of water. Because we're bags of water. No, we are yeah. for sure. I mean, we're like, 
where it's like so like malleable or skin like you know like dude that's why that 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 girl lisa from uh black pink everyone thinks she ain't got no bones know, she right could, do everything she could, yeah you could dance all crazy yeah oh dude i kid you not your microphone really hates me i think so but anyways i gotta get going shortly here but dude why don't you take this this uh glue off of this i can tell you i don't have a good answer for you no but hey, let me sharpen this so you can slash some shit. Actually, th you know, th these Roman swords are designed to to do what? Kill people. Oh, I know, to kill people, but mainly to stab. Yeah. It's not really designed to like, no. like, like the katanas like, were, no. like it cuts people in half. Like, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, like uh, shield and close, close combat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Close combat killing, yeah. And you know what's funny about that, the whole thing about the Romans? And and the, our military kind of takes off of it. Like, dude, the only reason why they were successful is because they had fucking sandals on. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It is. Something simple as a a sandal. And that's that's by the way, if y'all don't know the story, look it up. It's what the, the, the movie 300 was based on. But yeah, sandals, man. Yeah. Are you joking me? And it's crazy how how like affect the Roman Roman society was, right? Engineering, oh, all yeah. that they did, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole thing with the marble shit, like that's crazy. the aqueducts, you know, yeah, the aqueducts, engineering, like, like stuff that's they built. Weird. It was it's crazy, like the like it was crazy because German the Romans were not defeated like by the enemy, it's all internal. You wanna know what else is weird? I mean, it's modern day right now, y'all. You wanna know what else is weird? There's a fucking third being out there. It's called AI. It's, it's coming. A, it's alive, right? Yep. No, yep. no, like, no. Like I, I say that jokingly, but mm -hmm. like, you think about it. Yeah. Eventually, that's gonna build a consciousness, right? And I keep having no idea what's coming. Oh man. Most average people. But the only person coming. that's like super freaked out is my buddy, not my buddy, my best friend Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know I'm. He's my best friend yet, yeah. but yeah. he will one day. Yeah, yeah, he's got an AI. He like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I watch everything about that guy. It I sent him a pizza, and he sent me a letter back. It was a, such a sweet letter. Mm -hmm. You know what he said? He said this is a restraining order not to send me <laughs> any pizza anymore. You know what killed me? Like how many people like fucking like, I won't say hate or criticize him, but I like, like have like. Dude, like this dude is fucking like I know trying to get to the Mars, trust me. make sex, all the things trying to me. do right. People at my work says the same me. thing. Like I get it. There's sometimes like people disagree what he says or whatever or what he does, but come on. So do you, look, do you look see at that guy? This is one time it was on Twitter one time. He, you know, of course Elon Musk is a fucking master troll, right? He trolls somebody. Oh, he's a troll. He trolls somebody, sure. right? And somebody like put on there and tagged like. Did you send forty three million billion dollars to troll people? He's like, yes, of course I did. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Like, I'm, I mean, that's the stuff he does, right? I mean, he's like to me. I mean, like, like we don't know if that's true, right? Well, we're just saying it. But if I was him, I have like these goals, right? I really don't give a shit who's in who's in my way. Yeah. Right. If they're in my way, they're just in my way. Yeah. I'll find a way around them, right? I have a bigger plan. Yeah. Which, look, people at first made fun of Elon Musk because his rocket blew up. Mm -hmm. You know what Thomas Edison said about his? Have a, I've learned a thousand ways to do something new or something like that. No, I think it's like 10,000 ways. 10,000, yeah. To right? do something new, yeah. That guy failed that many times. Yeah. Right? Elon Musk failed maybe six times, seven times. Yeah. So here's one for you. You might know this. So do you do you know who Jason Colonis is? Jason Colonis? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I know who Jason is. So Jason but Colonis I don't know who Colonis is, is a big time angel investor in South Carolina Valley, right? Like big time investor, right? He's that big? He's fucking big as shit, right? How you know he's big? Like, if he invests in you, you're guaranteed to make it right. How do you know that? I know. Like, how do you know that name? Definitely. First of all, 
just fucking reading, fucking research. I don't know who he is, right? And so, well, way, I'm sure you know who he is. But so but, way back in the day, Tesla was about to fail, right? Uh-huh. I mean, they were struggling, right? Nothing fail. Sure. Jason Collins bought like three Teslas. Oh, he did something right. He invested like. What do you mean? He bought. He he, he, he bought the. He uh, bought Tesla number one, Tesla number two, Tesla number three, and invested money in, in Elon Musk. Okay, Lusk. so he bought the the. I forgot what that sports car is called. Yeah. No, he bought the regular Tesla. But it wasn't. Also, oh, he wasn't the original investor. Yeah. yeah. No, he's the original investor, but like the regular Tesla, not the roast. The roast. Uh, that's thank you. But he didn't invest in that. He invested in okay. regular Tesla, right? Because you know Elon Musk had a, a lot of difficulties with the roast. Yeah. Yeah. So basically. It's a kind of the reason Tesla's still alive. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. he like, this line says like Tesla one or two or three, right? Elon Musk, if you're watching this, I'm your, your proclaimed best friend, but I know you don't know me, but I just want you to know I send you pizzas, but they always get rejected and I get a, a, a what is that called? Restriction order. Restriction order. I'm not no psychopath, but however, come on, man. Just at least eat some of these pizza. I'm just joking. I never did that. Yeah. I know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just yeah. building it up. I'm thinking like one thing Elon Musk has advantage, of, right? Dude, that guy's fucking awesome. So, number one, I have to make two points, right? Number one, suppose Elon Musk only sleeps four hours a day, right? Huh? He only sleeps four hours a day. He owns six he only, hours. He only sleeps four hours a day. Supposedly. Oh shit. Just like the military. So imagine the advantage he has, right? Well, I mean, eventually we get tired too in the military. We sleep on no, four he, hours a day. Like, I have a friend Kyoki. He only sees four hours a day. Oh, I know. I met that guy. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I, I used to do that. What you could do, like, you sleep four hours a day, but I not, never get tired. No, I used to do that to the you, point where you I got tired, though, right? Yeah, of course. These dudes will get these dudes will get fucking tired. No, I know. There's something wrong with them. The advantage they have, right? Yep. There's something wrong with y'all's. It's like, yeah. It's yeah, it's it's a different level, right? To me, Elon Musk like fucking like Leonardo da Vinci, Tesla. He's like the superstar of era, right? And sure. he makes the world a better piece. And you know what's funny? Elon Musk doesn't even really like Tesla. You know that? I didn't know that. No, he doesn't. But like Tesla doesn't get enough credit. So I, I apparently, I, Elon Musk, I'm not stalking you, but I do read all your books and all this shit. However, he decided to call the Tesla the Tesla the way, because he doesn't get yeah. enough credit. Yeah. However, he actually like, uh, what's the other asshole's name? Thomas Edison? Yeah. Yeah. Elon Musk actually liked that asshole. Hmm. I mean, he's cool. He invented a lot of cool shit. I'm not taking anything away. I love Thomas Edison too. But he's an asshole. Same with JP Morgan. So do you remember this interview? So um Elon Musk said interview, right? With some huh? podcast, some like TV show or whatever. And at the time he was like, So previous like the rockets of SpaceX have kept on crashing. So two weeks later. Well, that's because we're learning. Yeah. So two weeks earlier, it was a time where both rockets like went to space, land on the fucking little dock. Tesla stock was up. Like it was like whatever. Oh, uh, you talking about the yeah the, when when yeah. they 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 self land. Okay. Yeah. So everything Elon Musk did last two weeks like is fucking golden. Like Elon Musk do wrong. He Elon Musk could do wrong. Could do wrong. Could do no wrong. And then so any of you are like Elon Musk, man, blah blah blah. Yeah, sure. Life must be great for you. Elon Musk looks dead in the eye. Actually, my life fucking sucks right now. And we're like, what the fuck do you mean? Life sucks. Life. Your life oh, yeah. sucks. And you broke it down like everything. Okay. Had to, he works. So everything hard. had to do like you know like like small problems in the economy. Like I have smart people. Like I have to do this. I have to do that. Right. Yep. Like I, he and sleeps that, and on and, the factory floor. And, and, and that got me like, damn, dude. Like that's the commitment it takes to be like excellent, right? And no realize it. If you're gonna change the world, you're gonna have to have aspiration. And that yeah. fucking asshole, Elon Musk. I mean, if if he ever ended up watching this, he's probably gonna be like, call me an asshole. I thought you liked me. Anyways, nobody could do what he could do. Here's a question for you. Yeah. Why is it that in the United States of America now, we have fucking like Trump and Biden for the presidency? 
but not people like Elon Musk or the or the president. For you know, Nikita. to be honest, I thought Elon Musk would run for presidency. I didn't too. Like, how come I, I, I thought he would? Like, why do we have fucking jackasses like Trump and Biden running? We, I, mean, I don't the, know. The guy from Nvidia, Dude. the Microsoft president, exactly. Steph Altman. There's so much talent out there. Elon Musk switched from a Democrat party to a Republican. Yeah. Why did he do that? I mean, I'll let him answer that. Yeah. Like, why did he do that? You know, I'm not a politician or anything like that. However, you do don't cut yourself. I know. I'm I'm almost worried. I'm I like, don't know, I don't know how I can explain to your wife, Mina, that you fucking killed yourself dude, for the she, podcast. She could watch me do this right now, yeah. to be honest. She's probably watching. She's not watching. She's sleeping, man. No, she's probably watching right probably now. Probably cussing your ass out right now. Yeah, maybe. But I love that woman. No joke. Yeah. Mina's a good person. Like, Mina's a it, fucking superstar. If it wasn't for her, I won't be able to do what I do today. Yeah. Like, no joke. Mina, Mina's good people. Yep. I'm a big fan of hers. So, and also, same with Elon Musk. Like, I can't do what I can, I could do without that guy. Because I, I, I guess I admire him way back when. Like, before he, like, I remember hearing about him when he was creating this, like, weird-ass app. And guess what kind of app it was? Like it was like a directional app for like mm. map or some mm. shit like that. Yeah. Right. And then I, I, I recall like in briefly, briefly that he was doing something like a payment system or some shit like that. However, anyways, I followed him for for quite some time, and what what the reason why I. I I like Elon Musk a lot. Is he has a speech impediment? They don't hide it. Hmm? He doesn't hide it. He doesn't. And I struggle with that a lot of times until I started watching his videos. Yeah. And I realized I was like, "Holy shit, this guy's changed their world." He's not polished. He just says, "No, like, no, no." Uh, duh. He like he speaks like he like exactly. He says whatever is on his mind. But he's like he's like motherfucker. I'm smart as fuck. And and the thing is. He, he protects the freedom of speech of like what we, we do. Mm-hmm. Like love or hate that guy. Like, like I get it. There's a lot of people that hate him. Yeah. There's a lot of people that love him, right? The reason why I like him so much is not just because of his politician views or anything like that, right? It's just mainly for his for who he is, mm-hmm. right? There was a story in. The, in in the autobiography that he was getting like bullied all the time, yeah. like got kicked down some stairs or yeah. some sh- bullshit like that, right? Like that was me when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. Like I had nowhere to fit, fit in, right? So, like, understanding that, and then also understanding that he had a speech impediment, and like he had like, anyways, and then on top of that, all his his ventures. Are fucking awesome as idea. I don't know. I don't care if they like super like All the profitable. Does, right? It's cool as fuck. I like so on the Joe Rogan the Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah, like that fool smoke weed. Shit, that was cool as fuck. It's fuck. He smoked weed. He smoked weed like instantly. Got like, like text. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know, like his his stock drop. What are you whatever. Doing? Yeah, dude, I'm fucking Elon Musk. Why fuck you? Yeah. But yeah. on the last Joe Rogan podcast, his guest was. The dude with the neural link in his fucking brain. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was fucking. And this stuff he does neural. I mean, it's like, dude, not, what the not, fuck are you doing right unreal. now? Unreal. And, and he said I stuck his time for his family, right? Supposedly. Dude, I can't believe it, but you know that guy that only lives in. He probably lives in the same size as, yeah. as the studio. Now, of course, you know, he has a lot of money, so, you know, he can fucking fly a property well, jet from here to here, you know. Sure. But he doesn't have money like that. He has to sell something or yeah. do something. He doesn't have money like that. However, we know that Elon Musk is like, what is it? Number one richest person in the world? He's, he's easily top five. I mean, other than that guy in Dubai. 
Yeah. I I hope he doesn't. It's Sam J. Jeff Bezos. I hope he doesn't come kill me. Bill Gates. I'm I'm very ignorant, but you know who knows. But, yeah, the shit Elon Musk does, right? He's like, man, fucking full of shit. But you know, you see the last fucking spaceship? That's what's. I mean, it burnt. It kind of, kind of burnt up on the wings and flaps. People don't realize, right? People thinking, I know, like, I can't do all this stuff, right? The thing is, like, the more you do, the more you're capable of doing, right? Bingo. And that's what I've been do, trying to tell. The more like, you do, exactly. The more you're capable of doing. Just do it. If you find failures. Learn from it and keep yeah, doing anything, it. Things like you know, like I can't do a lot, but I see people, other people I don't know, like do way more than me, right? Like fuck, how you do that shit? Oh man! And it's like I, they, I, don't, I, they I, don't got a fucking family or nothing, you know? I mean, people do a lot of shit, right? Yeah, they do. Like, I mean, people do a lot of badass shit, right? They do. They do. Like you and, have, like, and then again, most of the people that you had on the show, like, had a lot of stuff. Yeah, and they still doing amazing yeah. stuff. But then again, a lot of people suck too. Well, be not honest. the people on your show so not, far. Not people on my show, but a lot of people out there suck. Like a lot of people, like I know a lot of people, like do they, they go to college, they're building a business, they are doing this. Have, whoa, whoa, whoa! And yeah, then you have wait people, a minute. They went to college, they built a business. How did they suck? Not them. Oh, but then you have people like work at fucking you know a fast food restaurant twenty hours a week. They complain that they're working too hard. Or they, sure. you know. And then what? And they complain how life fucking, like, how they're getting fucked over. Well. Like, how are you going to complain life's fucking over and you're working 20 hours a week? Oh, 20 hours. Or oh, you said 20, now, 20 hours a week. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to you, you gotta put I'm, more work I'm working that. too hard. Like no one make is successful working nine to five. Yeah. Like I want and don't, I, don't get me wrong. Well if you're like you have a, a good decent paying job working nine to five, sure. you want to work Netflix and you want to like play three softball games a week, you know, or fine and dandy, right? But don't say like you're not making you're not making progress, right? Yeah. Don't yeah, get yeah. jealous of someone who's like fucked from the working, right? Yep, yep. I got it. I got I, I, I get I get your point of view. But because being entrepreneurs fucking suck, right? Like like, yeah. But if you talk about this, like being an entrepreneur, it's not all you and you and oh, Rainbow. Dude. This shit fucking suck, right? Like every being day, an entrepreneur suck. Every day I'm like, I'm damn like, fuck my life, right? Hey, by the way, everyone that's watching, being an entrepreneur suck so bad because every day you have to struggle because no one understands the struggles that you go through. Like, for instance, what you're doing right now, Jason, yeah. creating podcasts marketing, all that stuff that you're doing. No one really sees that. No. Right? Like, and and that's why we're going to keep making it cooler and cooler. Yeah. Like, I I, I, I tell, uh, I'm not going to say it, but I tell my technicians all the time, like, I want to inspire them because what I'm going to teach my technicians is something that they could carry on for decades or whatever they need to do right because to be honest what we're about to go through they have no idea that we're on the cusp of the the new standard and new technology yeah. but i'm not gonna say that to them because that's gonna scare the shit out of everybody like it's gonna scare the shit out of the sops it's gonna Scare the shit out of everyone if I'm saying, hey, we're transitioning to this new method of doing stuff, but we don't know the outcome, right? Here's a question for you. It's like in the military or post military life, whatever it is may be, yeah. how do you like motivate someone who's a piece of shit? First of all, not just because I'm on a camera or anything. And, and, Everybody that knows me knows me, even you. If they're perceived as a piece of shit, right? There's something wrong. Either A, they didn't have proper guidance. B, there's no, they have no mentor. Right? That's the only two things. Because a person that, if they're a piece of, in, in the military, like as NCO or whatever it is, there's those two factors. Nobody taught them. 
nobody mentor him, right? That's the only two things. So like, when I look at my technician, when they have struggled, when they have something, right? I stop what I'm doing immediately. I don't give a shit if it's like budget, expense or whatever, or whatever bullshit anybody like brings up. What I do is I, I just listen to them and I'm like, okay, how am I gonna help this person achieve more? Because my goal, I work for them, right? Jason, I work for them. So my goal is to, to train them as much as I can. And now I'm not the smartest person ever. However, I'll find the information. That's how I do it. Does that make sense? It does. I mean, I'm, sometimes. What if they refuse mentorship? What if so, so, well, the kid, like, you know, I I, I no, no. I'm in my way. Well, if they, okay. In those instances, if they say no, I do my way, and their way end up failing, right? Then my managers would take care of that. Because, you know, to be honest, we're, my number one goal in my company, I'm not going to say what it was, is to train these folks to be able to, to have the technology, the knowledge, and what it takes to, to move on if they have to. Now, I want them to, to be there for like 10, 20 years, 5, 20 years whatever it is, right? However, I'm going to continue innovating and teach them as much as I can. Now, I'm not the smartest person ever, obviously. Like, sometimes I feel washed up because sometimes the technician comes up to me and we're like, hey, do you know you could do this different? I'm like, what? You mean you could replace an HDMI cable with a Cat6? Yeah. Oh, shit, I didn't know that. You know what I mean? Like, these these youngins they 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 start learning that shit quickly. So, my job is to make sure that they're prepared for their next level, next step, and understand what they're doing. Now, there's a lot of things that contradict that. I am this. There's there's a lot of things that contradict that. Even though I'm doing like really good stuff for somebody, right? Just because I missed a deadline or something. Right, it's out of my control because we had to do these process to get like access or like something, right? Whatever it is, right? It it took a, a few days to just be able to do that, but they don't understand, so they just like simply just cons consult you, right? Uh, however, the way I look at it is cool, whatever. We're going to continue doing what we're doing because I have a vision for what I want the whole entire team in to do, right? So that, in a nutshell, I have a vision and I'm going to continue going regardless. Even if a person was to, to have a disagreement of like how we're going about things, right? I hope that answered that question. Dude. Because I feel like I went yeah, hell long, bro. If, if I, didn't I, know, I, need, I need a drink. Dude, I need a I drink, know, bro. I would have thought he had no intention to drink. You are so fucking, that's such a, 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 a sober answer you get right now. Really? Yeah, you're like, like really No, no, point. because to be honest, that's something that's I've been thinking about in my, my mind like, for the longest that's time. That's like a fucking PhD level answer you gave. But, uh, dude. And so, next to the next question, like, so, when we get out of here, yeah. we got to talk about Vietnam, our Vietnam trip. Oh fuck, dude! So before we oh, start, wait, before we go, that you better post this pup picture because I'm about to tell them about the picture. All right, dude. before we start, right? Yeah. So probably January 2023, Kevin told me, "Hey, Jason, uh, my wife Mina is going to Vietnam for school in September, right? Yeah. I need someone to hang out with. Like Kevin, like you're my guy and all, but like I'm mean, gonna honest with you, right? If there's a hundred countries I want to go to, Vietnam is probably one on one." So April came, hey man, I'm still gonna be in Nam. Are you coming? Like, dude, no, fuck no, man. Get the fuck out of here, right? Yeah. And then like, the, 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 so the flight is the first. 
October, August 17th. Ding, ding, ding. Jason, you're dumb as fuck. What chance you have to go to another phone company to fucking, like a fucking tour guide? Yeah. You have to pay way too much money. You got the ticket at the last minute, right? Exactly. And so go to Vietnam. That's a fucking great time. And pause before that. To be honest, it was, it was kind of selfish because I didn't have anyone to speak English to. <laughs> but, dude, this dude jumped on the ship. We went. And guess what? He gave me some gummies. <laughs> on the airplane. Why in the SeaTac airport? Yeah, while in the SeaTac yeah. airport. I had no idea it was going to make me throw It was one gummy. <laughs> yeah, one but, gummy. But still, it was like, come one, on. One edible. I don't even know what that was. It's like, I like. I you, took your word for it. Like, I just took it. Like, you threw up? What the fuck, dude? Yeah, I know. I mean, you should see the flight attendant's face. It's too late. We're already 20,000 feet in yeah. there. I, I, I got there kind of late, y'all. You and me were still like always in the fucking, in the fucking like the what's it called, like the waiting area stuff. Yeah, yeah. I said, here you go. What's this? Edibles, like. Dude, I couldn't. Okay, so now, it, you know what? Vietnam, he didn't bring nothing. He's good. But damn, bro, can't believe we brought that many. No. <laughs> I, I took the stuff to Vietnam. Just oh, fucking yeah, dude. I, I was so fucking high right now. I can believe it. I can believe it. Oh, man, it, it's so fucking, the people are great, the food's great. It's oh, like, man. it's fucking crazy. Like, remember the time we were like, we were at a seafood place, the sidewalk seafood place? I, did we all get sick? Yeah. I got sick. The, the one that's on the, 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 that, uh, like a mile long seafood places. Oh, no. I thought you were talking the one that's in front of our, not hotel. there. We just, it's like a mile long, the seafood place, right? Like sidewalk seafood place. Oh, oh. So, and they put the shit. Monster, uh, um, monsters and shit. District. And it looked like alien shit. District three. Yeah, no, district no. Three. District, or four. One of those districts, right? Some of the, yeah, the one with all the seafood. It was like, it's like, fuck it. I don't know if I eat this. Bro, but you ate it though. Yeah. You ate it. The next day, ugh. I don't know. And then like the first night we got there, the plane landed, and there's so many fucking people right at the airport. Right, it's like it's like two in the morning. Was it two in the morning? Midnight. So many people. Mina's family came and got us. Oh, that yeah. That. They went to take the hotel, and Mina's like, "This is street food," and I got first time I ever eating snails. Yeah, and that's not bad. That takes a rubber. Like this is like uh, it's not it's, nothing. It's, it's like it's pretty good. Yeah, it's take a little leave. It's it, pretty yeah. good. Take a leave it, right? And yeah, then, this uh, white guy, yeah. you know, it's pretty good. But you need to tell them about the, what do you call it when you cross the street? The walk of motherfucking death. Oh, shit. The walk of death. The walk of motherfucking death, right. And so Explain that, man. The first two or three days, right. So imagine there's like, you're on the street. There's like a four, it's a four-way stop sign, right? Four-way street. There's crosswalks. Four red lights. Ain't and no damn crosswalk in Vietnam, there's bro. No, there, there's no cross no red lights, but it basically like there's four streets, right? If you want to cross the street, you just cross, right? The cars keep on going, right? There's no red light. There's a crosswalk. It's like if you don't walk across the street, you never leave, right? And what what makes it work work is like if you cross the street, all the cars go like 20 miles an hour, right? No one's going 20, 50. And cars, it's motorcycles. Motorcycles, mopeds, they're all the same, right? And so, you, so you have to step out and fucking walk at a thing as a like a even space, right? You can't like walk. You can't stop. No, you can't stop for sure. Yeah. But you can't walk fast, walk slow. You got to do the same pace, right? And somehow, if, if somehow it fucking works, right? Now, what's funny is, right? I think I told you this, right? When I came back Which to, one? After the. When I came back to the States. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. I thought still being on. I did a walk of death. <laughs> you did walk us death in the state? Yes, yeah. Oh, you are. Freaking crazy. I forgot. You're about to die. I, I almost did. People in the U.S. don't give a shit. Yeah. They'll like, oh, run shit. you over. Yeah. Was, oh, shit. Yeah. But I, when I first got there, like, Kevin was like, dude, you can't walk by me all the time. Walk, you can't walk by me all the time. I was right by Kevin and me. I walk by this. Mm -hmm. But when I left, I was fucking walking through a fucking traffic, fucking traffic circle. Mm. But it, it, mm -hmm. it, it works. It works some kind of way, right? And the busiest one, too. Yeah. The, the one that's next to Bunton Market. Yeah. Holy I mean, crap. It, it I'm even afraid to walk that myself. It, I mean, it works, you know? I mean, it's, it's a system. I mean, then that's crazy. Like, in Vietnam, you, everyone's on moped, right? Because, like, it's kind of poor country, third country. It can't afford mopage. 
it's kind of it's kind of like fucked up. But you see, like you see, like the mother, like the father in front with a helmet, the mother in the back helmet, and two like kids, four or six, with no helmet in the middle, right? Yeah. You mean like four people on a moped? Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. Kids yeah. have no fucking helmet. No, why not? It's fucking sandy, right? Dude. It's the way of life over there, and it's pretty awesome. And what's the place there with all the the, the church place, like to have the dancing girls and stuff? They went to. We just a place like we just a dancing girl place. It's like a mall long. You me you meet up at the place upstairs. Oh, oh you you're talking about the dark side of Vietnam? Yes. Oh, y'all, there's a dark side of Vietnam, and I forgot what it's called now. What is it called? It's, a, it's like, like the tourist trap, right? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. It's there's where like, all the tourists like, go. A lot of nightclubs, American oh, people, shit. Australians, you know. What is it called? A go-go girl, dancer girl. No, no, no. Yeah, like they pretty women dancing. Yeah. Pretty man dancing yeah. and all kinds of shit. What is it called? Oh, no. You know and what? Nothing about Vietnam too. Like, it doesn't let me, matter. Let me ask the, the Vietnamese expert. Hey, babe. What is that dark side of Vietnam called? So Kevin. everybody, like, I, I call it the dark side of Vietnam. Excuse me, like but Kevin, I don't know, you. but bring your fucking ass home. No, no, I'm sure. I'm, I mean, this is supposed to be only 30 minutes, but we, oh, it's 10 o'clock already. Yeah. Holy fuck. It's 10 o'clock. Dude, we started this podcast hella early. No, we started nine four. No, we started nine thirty five. Oh, did we? Yeah. Oh, I, for some reason I felt like it was eight. And and the thing about Vietnam is like fucking crazy. Like the people good. What crazy? Like like aren't Vietnam. You know like, what's crazy? Taking LSD in Vietnam. We'll talk about. I it. didn't do it. We we'll talk about it in a minute. But yeah. With Vietnam is crazy. Like is. And my thing, Vietnam is more entrepreneurial in the United States, right? Because Vietnam, you just stand to eat some random person, like. Buy a piece of watermelon. Oh, here's a story for you. Remember this? What? Remember you bought this? You bought something for this old ass lady. Mango. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Fucking nail clippers. The 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 fan. And she came back the next day. Yeah, yeah. And, and you bought her hustle me again. You're like, <laughs> you're like, bitch. I bought this for me already. I didn't say bitch. You're like, no, 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 no. I, like, I, I, I don't she swear. Say, did she say no, no? You didn't buy it from me. Yeah, she said that to me, and I was like, wait a minute. I bought it from you. It's like, like, it's like, no, not from me. No, I was like, no, I literally bought it from you. Like, no joke. I gave you cash, you know? She's like, no, it's not for me. Buy this no, for me. We know. We know it was her. And we went to one market. Like, yeah, we yeah. went there one time, and, like, this one lady, like, she... This, had, this is right next to Buntan Market yeah. in, in Saigon. She bought, like, the, the By the way, coconut milk and You have been to meet on. people who, if you are watching, you know what I'm talking uh, about. The Vietnamese people, this is a communist country, but, man, they have the hustle, right? Dude, they... Remember like, that guy? Entrepreneurs. You remember the guy with the fucking shoe thing? Oh, my Dude. God. Dude. I got to tell the story. Yeah, you got to tell it. You so, remember the shoe thing? So, oh, so, my God. So, first of all, like, we're, like me and Kevin... So, Kevin's wife is in class all day, like oh. me and Kevin's walking around. I'm not talking race or whatever, but like I'm a white guy. I'm I'm like I have a sparse or whatever. Yep. But every dude walked to Kevin and asked Kevin for money. Uh, right? Bu It's called Bu Ving. Bu Ving, okay. Yeah. Every guy walked to Dark Kevin. Dark side of Vietnam is called Bu Ving. Every guy walked to Kevin and say ask for money, right? Kevin, like, what the fuck? I'm 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 Asian. That's I know, crazy. like, why are they asking me but for they, money? Uh, Kevin like, has this like a white ass. Kevin dude. has like like money bag and stuff, right? All this not, shit. Why you say money bag? You got a money bag. It's not a money bag. It was just a bag. With money in it. I mean, a little bit, but not that much. It's a, it enough. But, he, but looked anyway. like, he looked like a baller, right? But back to the store, <laughs> back to the store right? Just because I had a purse? There's a man <laughs> first. You say I'm a baller because I have a purse? Yeah. Dude, so, okay, so, go on. So we're walking, right? <laughs> Kevin, so this one day, Kevin has like, like, like flip-flops on or sandals, right? Looking ratchet as heck. And this dude walks up and says, so in, in Vietnam, the bunch of dudes walk up and say, let me shine your shoe, right? Yeah. This dude walks up, hey, hey like, hey, let me shoe shine, like, whatever it costs of money, right? Shoe shine. He was like, dude, I have fucking sandals on. <laughs> tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah. He was like, next time I see you, I'll, I'll get a shoe shine. Sure enough, three days later, the dude walks up, hey, you said next time you pay for shoe shine. I know. And I ended up giving him, like, I, what was that, 100 dong? Yeah. 
Yeah. It's like two dollars or something. Yeah. I mean, it it's not equivalent to what we 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 give, but it was like two hundred thousand dong, and I'm like, shit. I mean, you had to respect the hustle, right? He oh remember, no, 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 yeah. I mean, he remembered you, right? That's that's the, that's like a good salesman, right? Yeah, he, like, re he remembered. If you remember the client, you remember what they need. <laughs> You're, but the fact that the money is yours. The fact that he's like, you gotta get your shoe shine. Oh yeah, sandals. yeah. But he, I know sandals, dude. What the fuck are you doing? And I didn't even have white. Like it wasn't even white. It was black. And then we found this badass speakeasy. Remember that? Oh shoot, Mina found that. She did found it. Yeah, yeah. Mina found that one. That speakeasy was fucking. That's a badass speakeasy. Yeah, out in Vietnam, we found we found a speakeasy that actually had good drinks. The old fashioned, like one of the best I've ever had. Yeah. It was damn good. They had a drink. Sorry. They had a drink there, a Vietnamese rum. You remember that? That yeah. tastes like copper. Yeah. I can't find that anywhere. Here's a story for you. I do remember this, right? I tell the story all the time on the podcast, right? Which one? Don't tell me the, the alien one. No, not that one. We'll okay. talk about that later, right? But, okay. And so, like, so um, we was in Korea. Oh, actually, let me hold on. Oh, you got a picture? Let me see. No. Oh. Plug this up real fast. And so. What are you about to show me? You better show no, me something no. awesome. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, oh. so Kevin's wife, Mina, she's going to be in Vietnam. Yeah. We're at her house, right? Her aunt and her uncle, right? <laughs> so we go there. It's like me, Kevin, a bunch of family members, right? And we're drinking, eating, right, everyone. And in Vietnam is a thing called Tiger Beer, right? Tiger Beer, oh my god! And we're drinking god. beer, right? And I, I drink so much beer, right? I like that. I, I told Kevin, like, so, so. Kevin's wife, me, is only one who speaks Vietnamese English, right? She was like the yeah, she's, right? she's our translator. That's like, right. I, I feel bad because she was. Our only translator, yeah. but yeah. And so, like, they'll give us food. You Vietnamese folks, you understand so this. So, we drink food or whatever. I mean, we drank so much fucking Tiger beer, right? I told Kevin, like, dude, like, I'm done, right? I can't drink more beer, right? No, I mean, and, and I think, like, like the uncle couldn't understand, but he kind of understood, right? Bro. So, oh, I know where you go with this. And so, I know where you go with this. And so, he looks at me, and he puts <laughs> a Tiger beer, and he, like, points like this and said, and I think that means, one more beer. I, I like, man, okay. Nah. Be polite. I'll drink one more beer. This motherfucker leaves. Oh, the Vietnamese folks, if they watch, I, they I know, know what this. you're talking about. There's a store two blocks away. This motherfucker brings back a case of Tiger beer. Yep. I like, Kevin, I'm done. I can't fuck with this, right? I'm like, I'm done. Mm -mm. And then another story. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, you better tell that this one. This is all right. You better tell that one. I tell Because that Tiger. one was like, even me, I'm like, well, Shit, I and just so drank that we, shit. We, we're in another time, right? Eating a lot of food or whatever. And the uncle, like, comes back and brings us three shots, right? Full of liquid, like, and he looks at it, he does like no, this. It wasn't clear, man. Was it clear? No, it looked like this shit. It was okay. I'm no. kind of clear. I'm lying. And so he does like this. He just rubs his stomach, like, and me and Kevin, okay, but digest this. We're drinking, like, oh, my God. This it is fucking, tastes so weird. It, this is fucking awful, right? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, it's good. I'm going to bring you back two more shots. Drink it again. And Kevin, with his dumb fucking ass, I know, I should, has the fucking I ass. I've never done that. He has the fucking ass his wife. That. Ask the uncle what this is. His uncle brings back a fucking... Actually, let me pull it up. It, it literally is. It's like a gas tank. Like, like, let's see if you can pull it up. And if you guys don't see it right now, he's going to pull it up. On the internet for you to see. But don't stop. Just keep going and then pull up that video later. Or not video, but picture. Yeah, I think I'll pull up. But basically, it was oh, like. Yeah, yeah. What happened? Oh, uh, Senate input four. Oh, you are an input four. I'm on fucking uh, Instagram. Oh, uh, the Korean. No, it's a Japanese, like, uh, Asian girl rap star. <laughs> dude, if anyone at my work will watch me, and they're going to be like, hey, dude, you know what, Kevin, you're, you're, you're messed up. 
I don't know, but my technicians, hopefully they, they understand and they, they still love me regardless. <laughs> to be honest, I'm the same way I am oh. at work or at here. But, but basically. Oh, you don't have it. No, I, I, for some reason I have photos on here. Uh, go to your, oh, no, it's blacked out. It's grayed out. It's, it's updating. But anyways, in post-production, he will put it up. You want to explain it or you want me to explain it? I'll explain it. Oh, yeah, you better explain it. Because from your point of view, it sounds more disgusting than my point of view. Because I'm like, oh, you know what? Shit. <laughs> I never had that, but that shit was delicious. <laughs> so, Kevin has asked, what is this, right? Yep. And his uncle brings me back a bucket. A white bucket. Full of seahorses soaking in like some kind of liquid, right? Oh, most likely vodka or some shit. Uh, what's that shit called? The clump, uh, man, what's that shit called? Uh, of chloroform. Chloroform. <laughs> yeah. We sniffed that and fell asleep. But no, it was full of seahorses. And you know what he said Hundreds to of them. You know what he said to us? You remember what he said to us? Actually, I don't. He said, it make you really good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, shit, dude. Make you really good, huh? It's like, damn. I was like, I, like, I was like, Kevin had a fucking ass. I mean, it, it fucking tastes horrible, right? I mean, yeah, it, it, it tastes like chalk. Actually, no, not a chalk. Amber. Like, like, imagine chalk and rubber together. That's how it tastes like. And the Tiger beer, it was like, I think I didn't drink a beer like maybe two months after that. Oh, me too. Me too. I think I gave up on beer. Because I was like, I literally drank so much Tiger beer. Tiger I, beer. I drank like 12 of them. I didn't, I got buzz. It's like, damn, dude, I can't drink no more. Like, you literally have to drink like 24 of them. Yeah. Just to get like pretty decent buzz, like, you know. And so much food. Oh, uh, the food is a different story. They just, they call it yow. Yeah. Right? Like, you, you eat and drink and eat. Like, before you know it, you're eating a bunch of stuff. You know, the Vietnamese people, they know how to do it. You eat a bunch of stuff that goes perfectly well and pairs well with beer. Yeah. And before you know it, you're like, shit, I just ate a whole shit ton of food and then realized I drank like 24 cases by myself. You drank so much beer, so much food. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. Every time we just went to the cigar bar, it's one. some Cubans, but oh, the bottle of yeah. You're right. And they're, they had a rule. In Vietnam, they had a rule in that area where we're at. You could only smoke Cubans. You cannot smoke anything yeah. other than Cuban cigars yeah. on the streets. Yeah. That was the weirdest thing, right? Didn't yeah, you think I'll, that was I'll, weird? I'll be right back. Right back? <laughs> He's in the bathroom. What the hell? <laughs> talk about I mean, talk about hey, folks, talk this guy's about to go pee and shit. So we're done. We're not done. They do this been hella long. Dude, I don't know if I can keep on talking for like 40 minutes while you're you take. All right. He just left me. So now I'm going to tell you guys a story about this uh, Yeti. One day, me and my buddies went camping. And a Yeti decided to show. The Yeti said, I do not want to flow in the river. And I said to him, yes, you do, Yeti. You want to do that. And then he recites back to me, I'm going to hang all you guys upside down naked on a tree. So everybody, including the rangers, could see the glory sun. Thank you for listening to the story. And he's still not back. <laughs>
All right. <laughs> oh. Oh, you finally came back. Oh, don't worry. I I, I was just explaining um, uh, in two seconds, like the audience know that I was just explaining how badass you are. That's one thing I do have a problem with. Like I'm like I'm like, what's the word? So one thing about the military, if I grew up like, like suppose like with me, like suppose that I do ten things right. Yeah. Nine things like that's the best fucking thing ever, right? Sure. The tenth thing. It's good, but it's not great. I always kill myself for that, right? Yeah, I know. Me too. Yeah. I say the same thing every time I put my pants on. I'm like, shit. Yesterday, I put my pants on flawlessly, and I yeah. put both legs in at the same time. Exactly right. Today, I missed it by an inch. Yeah. That's what happens to get better. You know, but, but to be honest, I never seen anybody with so many damn coins. Now... I want to continue going on this coin trip yes. with you. But I already told the audience that it wasn't going to take that long. And it's been three hours. Yeah, there's been no fucking three hours, dude. What? It's been three hours. You sure about that? No, I don't know. You, see. you tell me. You're. By the way, Jason streams. I'm just here as an audience. <clears throat> it's been like... If y'all need some streaming... Please contact this guy. It's been 47 minutes. 47 minutes? Plus an hour. So an hour and 47 minutes. Yeah. Holy shit, it's almost two hours. Sound goes fast, right? Eh. That's not funny when people come on the podcast, they're like... No, I know. I know like, this. Jason, there's no way I can talk for three hours. I can do three minutes. Yeah, but... And then... Nobody talks shit like I do talk shit to you, though. Yeah. Because... Mm -hmm. Be honest, I don't give a shit, Jason. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> just joking. But anyways. So, Kevin, what do you see yourself in five, ten years, right? Do you see it like, you know, like having some kind of big media company, like me? So in my current role, I see me fixing the problem that was inherently there, right? Fixing that completely. Yeah. And then, I don't know. I don't know what the world has to offer, but I'm open, all right? Like, I'm not saying I, I'm going to move to positions of position or anything like that. I'm just, I'm following the technology, right? Like right now, all the industry on broadcasting streaming is moving in Tempe 2110. You know, there's dash 30, there's dash 40, whatever. We don't want to get into semantics. However, because of Infocom, there's so many things that are coming out in the, the woodworks that most of these corporations have no clue what's happening. Like, they'll get Microsoft Teams. That's a good step. They'll get Zoom. Okay, that's even, you know, like the, the step moving towards that like hybrid work environment, right? It's pretty cool. However, the people that are doing the hybrid event stuff, right? It's going to change what they do day to day. Like, uh, it, it's so hard to explain because we we're already we're already doing this stuff like back in the, the mm -hmm. get-go, but now it's coming to a standard that like now it's official standard, all production and all the companies are going to that. I mean, whoever online or whatever, they, they probably could verify that. But moving in that, in that direction, right? I don't know where it's gonna take us. What I want to happen is it to take us to the, the border where like, hey, the company's gonna be like, hey, you guys are the, the expert on this technology. You guys produce a flawless event. 
that's what I want to get to. So last question. I know you got to leave yeah. before your wife kills you. She's not going to kill me. She loves me. No, it kills me. Such a, oh, yeah, no, no. She will kill you. Yeah. No, no. Um, she has a... I just bought her a, a 9 millimeter Glock uh, 19 with a suppressor. Mm -hmm. I asked her why she needs a suppressor. Like, to, you know, you have to get licensed mm -hmm. for that. And she's like, oh, just to kill your friends. Yeah. What does that mean? So, be careful, man. You know, I, I, crazy. I, I, think, I think Mina likes me. Well, I don't know. She's a good shot, dude. Yeah, I think she likes me. I think I'm good. <laughs> so, what, what kind of tech is, excites you? Oh, right now? Yeah. You have no idea. Like, other than Samsung 2110, I've been waiting for that forever. Mm -hmm. Right? Other than that, AI is, is the one. It scares me. And it excites me. But no one, well, no one wants Skynet, right? I don't know about you, but I want Skynet. Yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't know, man. Think about it. Think about it before you say that. What was the purpose of Skynet? Uh, kill people? You see, that's what you think for killing people. But Skynet... Technically, AI, right? Whatever. Mm -hmm. It became a singularity. It made its own decision that, hey, humans are like messed up and they want to kill them, right? So that's why Terminator 1, Terminator 2, yeah. Terminator 3, Terminator. What was that one, that, that liquid guy? Yeah, I knew something about it. Yeah. You know, I saw yeah, that liquid yeah. guy was yeah. created yeah. and shit. And then there, there's this one human in the world that was able to. I don't know. That's so stupid. However, Imagine if we had a world that calculated and did everything that we need for us, right? That world would be freaking awesome. I mean, other than the whole robot come kill you kind of deal. I mean, but imagine yes, you if know. you're just a, you're just walking down the street, right? And you're just like, hey, you know, I'm in the mood for like hamburgers. And then this AI was like, oh, you know what? In in the general era, like 25 around, like miles around, you have a great hamburger place, right? And then you go to work and you're like, hey, you know what? Could you write me a memo? I mean, sorry, Copilot and stuff already does this, but could you write me a memo? Uh, I want to call out today, but make it personal and make it sound realistic. <laughs> you know, a lot of people is going to call out, right? And guess what? Copilot already does that. Eh, he calculates all this shit and then and writes all this stuff and say, and and then you can say, make it casual. You can say make it uh I forgot what it was, but like serious or whatever it is, right? So, like, dude, for a, a person with dyslexia, I'm in my freaking like realm right now, man. Like so I could so, just tell a computer what to do. We go to school anymore. Just say AI, hey AI. I don't know. Do a report on Shakespeare and make it like seventh grade level, or do a report on whatever. I mean, intellect doesn't doesn't happen because of AI, right? Like you're not smart. You don't you don't think of the questions and stuff if AI is around. Mm -hmm. But if you as a person, you think of that question already, right? Like why why are you gonna ask what five plus five is? What's the reason? Because you don't know what it is. No, but yeah, you don't know what it is. But why? Why do you want to know that particular numbers? Because you have to you have a test question. Or, or yeah, test question. Or there's something that you're trying to solve. Like man, I got five cell phones, and how much is five plus here's five? One, here's you one know, for shit you. Like that, and AI take care of that. Here's one for you. Let's suppose this election November 2024, right? You can pick between, you can pick between um, current President Biden, former President Trump, or candidate AI. Shit, you're about to get into politics. AI right has all the knowledge, all the history. I'm afraid of AI, so I'm gonna have to go with a human being. But actually. From the, the choices that you said, I'm afraid of those human beings. So maybe I might just go AI. Hey, here's one for you. 
let's suppose you're older in life, right? Pose like 65, 70. Okay. And you need open, open heart surgery, right? Entrepreneur? No, you, need, you gotta have open heart surgery. Open heart surgery. 65, 70. Okay. And so are you gonna pick between a human surgeon or AI surgeon? AI. Just like that? Yep. AI. Okay. Because the calculation that artificial intelligence would do is quite accurate. Compared to a human, so they could they could not sleep one day and super tired when they're doing a the surgery and just miss by like a millimeter. So it's crazy. Kill you. Most people ask that question will say human. Why? And then I'll say, let's say say human because they, they don't trust AI, right? And then I'll say, okay, let's make it let me make it interesting. What is a human? Is like finished last in a class in medical school, and they have like, sure. they have like three mile and, their, and their hand is shaking. <laughs> yeah. They have three mile practice suits. Oh, AI. Oh, you know what? This brings me to a funny fact that I remember in basic training. I forgot his name now, but if I think about it clearly, this back when they had basic life savings. I'm perfectly straight, drawing his blood and putting IV. This fucker, <laughs> I kid you not. I'm, I'm like, that. hey man, that you're shit. cool, you're cool. And his hand was That's like, back to memories. His hand was like, <laughs> and he was sorry, so sweating. And I'm like, hey man, you're cool, dude. Just relax, you're cool. And his hand was like, oh, <laughs> like dude. I remember that. I'm, I'm that, glad. That's a bad, that, that's a bad memory. Yeah. They don't have that no more. You know that, right? I didn't know that. No, I didn't know that until. Like just recently, they don't they don't do that. They don't stab people no more. Nope, no basic life. I mean, somebody please tell me if I'm wrong, but there's none of that. And also, apparently, hearing from the grapevine, it could be just he he say or she said. Yeah. But they have their cell phone. Yeah. Just imagine that back in our infancy days, like. No. You have your fucking cell phone? You crazy? So you know what? Here's a story for you. Like, I, I, like, I, I, like, I have a tattoo on my on my body that says IDHF. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, so yeah. I, I live my life like that. So I was a basic training, right? Sure. Oh my god. And so, like, I think basic training eight weeks, right? I missed a week because I was fucking sick of shit. What right? did you say? I, I, I basic training eight weeks. Oh, okay. I missed yeah. a week because I was sick, right? Yeah. And so, the sixth week, I got to the hospital. Me and this guy, we just started going to the fucking PX. How are you able to go to the PX, man? Just went. Oh, you, you're one of those dudes. Just went. You're one of those dudes. Like, I didn't even know what a <laughs> skull was until I was getting I was smoked, fucking, man. We was going fucking, we was buying fucking beer from the fucking, from the fucking, from the fucking PX. Oh, they had beer there? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was fucking insane, right? Yeah. I remember being in Fort Jack, no, I was the Fort Bridge Paris, Indiana. I was like 18, 19 years old, going to fucking classics, buying beer. Hmm. That's, yeah, I was, I was one of those dudes, right? Yeah. It's like the thing was, you're walking like you know what you're doing, like yeah, yeah, just act normal, yeah. <laughs> exactly, just act normal. Not no, no one would know, and even the oh. people in the PX won't even know. Oh, here's another story for you, right? So AIT was a Fort Benning Harris, right? AGs. Airport. Oh, it's sorry, sorry. Fort Benning Harris, Ed and Jennifer. Fort Benning, right? yeah. Fort Benning Harrison. Yeah. In Indiana, right? And so That's I'm my basic school. thing, Fort Benning. Yeah, AIT, and so my dumbass. So the first class we took is like, we had top 487, right? For some reason, I could not, I could not comprehend like social security numbers, like, like number, 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 hyphen, number, number, right? Sure. I, I was like doing number, 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 right? Are you dyslexic like me? <laughs> yeah. I'm under... I, I, I don't want to like that fuck. Yeah, I, yeah. So I failed the test, right? And so I get recycled a class before me, right? Oh shit, you got recycled? Recycled. I was so afraid to get recycled. I got recycled. But for some reason, they came in the same room. What? Came in the same room, the same roommate. And so. Wait a minute. Both of you guys got recycled? No, no. Oh. I was the same room, but the guy was easy. Like, he passed, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. But instead of being in the hallway with the people class before me, I was in the room my my current class, right? And so where my class got recycled from got, like, privileges and could do what they wanted to do, I did the same thing. Family day. Family day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though I was supposed to not be on restriction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And They're sorry, I'm gonna give a shit at that point. Yeah. Yeah. So what'd you do? What I wanted to do. Did you get ripped off by the fucking taxi driver? Of course. Yeah. yeah. That shit, I, I, me and my buddies, we wanted to go to a hotel or something. On his meter, it says 30 bucks. He charges like 100, almost 100 bucks. Yeah, yeah they take a like, you place. son of a bitch. I swear that said 30 bucks. Yeah, I remember like, I was like, like, like Fort uh, Benning, no I, joke, man. I was going out and stuff, you know, with my, cause my crew, we were classes, like, they were like doing this, like stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. But in reality, I was in the other class was Song of Fiction. Mm. I remember you know, one time I was a, 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 a cure right? I snuck in just in time, right? Got in the bed, fully closed. Fully closed. Blanket over me, right? In, in your ACUs or not ACUs? Severe clothes. Yeah. Because I'm not supposed to have on because I must have worn severe clothes. Yeah. First opens the door, looks around, just leaves. What? Damn. I did some shit back in the day, right? Dude, I remember uh, when I first arrived at 30 AG, right? My my family were Buddhists. So they tied a bunch of like uh, ribbons on me mm -hmm. just to keep me safe and stuff. The first thing, I was the first person off the bus. They put me on the ground and that uh, I remember it, it was a black guy that was in special force or something, but he was one of the cadres. Whoops out his knife. Cuts it right out. Yeah. Didn't even say nothing. Just yeah. cut it off me. And he's like, none of that shit is happening up in here. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, fuck, dude. This is if that happened, was some that, crazy if, ass if that, if that happened now. Oh, no, no. Now it's different. So if but now, that door found would lose all everything. No, I know. That's why I'm saying, like, the difference between, like, I mean, back then I actually and there. That's kind of fucked up that you did that. Yeah, I know. It was fucked up. Fucked I, felt, up. I, felt, I, felt, I felt harsh. However... 30th AG was one of the funniest thing ever. Because, you know, that's when you get inoculated and all yeah. that stuff, right? So one time, you know, when you get that, that penicillin shot in your butt? Yeah. Right? There's a, a whole line of people waiting to get their shot. Me and my buddies, we decide to turn it around and, like, go to our crotch area. Mm -hmm. And pretend they shot us in the crotch, yeah. right? So... Every <laughs> single person that walked out, they were like holding their crotch. Dude, it was so funny because the next person was starting to sweat. Like, I can't believe they're doing this. I they, can't believe they're they, doing they're this. They're putting it in my dick. Yeah, exactly. So, like, everyone was sweating. Like, they're like, I can't believe this is happening. I can't, you know, Barbara like. Cooter didn't tell me about this book of shit. Yeah, exactly. But it was oh, man, so, that's so funny. funny. And it, but the funny thing, it, it kept going on for the whole entire line. Everyone, everyone, everyone like, took, everyone like follow the lead, right? Yeah, yeah. Even after they realized, it, oh, it just got in your butt, right? They just kept then going they, out. They, the front they, 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 they did the yeah. Thing. yeah. And the funny, it, it is so funny because, like, the, imagine how the last person felt. Mm -hmm. The last person in the line, mm -hmm. right? They see all this stuff and everybody walking with holding their crotch. And he, in his mind, he's like, all right, I'm fucking dead. I'm dead. I go in there, they're going to stick me. Like, it's hard. And I, I don't know, I could just imagine. Like, he just pulls down his pants and just yeah. pastes the, 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 the nurse and be like, all right, just get me. What, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Yeah, exactly. Turn around, dude. Uh, oh, man. That, that has to be the best, best prank ever. Dude, it was, it was so funny. Like, I, That's I, a fucking great prank, I, right? I couldn't, I couldn't get enough of ourselves. Now, if anyone happened to watch that, that was during that time, it wasn't all my idea. It was actually another dude's idea. So I'm not the fault. I'm not the blame for this. But that's, that's one thing about people don't realize about military. Like in the military, you drink so fucking much, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. You drink a lot of fucking energy. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. You drink a fucking lot. Dude, these fucking dudes in the barracks did a. Did a uh, Three-story beer bong. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Three-story beer bong. In our barracks. And I, I remember coming back home because, you know, like, since I live here, bring, coming back home, I remember, like, at 2 a.m., these dudes are, like, screaming and dropping beer, beer mm -hmm. down this freaking huge bong. And I'm like, holy crap, you guys better wake up for formation in the morning. Yeah. So I got two more stories, right? Mm -hmm. The first story... 
So my first duty station, oh, I was shit. in what time? I was Germany okay. for like a year, right? Mm -hmm. And drinking German beer, getting fucked up. We're drunk. I came back to the States. We were hometown, oh, I, right? I love the German beer. Dog. We went back to the States, right? Mm -hmm. I like, so my friends bought me a case of Budweiser. Okay. I drank a, so we all bought a case of Budweiser. Yeah. I drank 18 like Budweiser, nothing, right? What? I came back from Germany, drank eight, like eight cases of Budweiser, nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Piss water. They're like, what yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Right? In German, yeah, <laughs> no, and then another story like so in Germany, me and my two friends, my the two friends of mine so right now, yeah, Michael R. Jackson and Kyoki Cross, Alan and Alan Roger, right? We, we used to throw pina colada parties, pina coladas, but you mean the sweet drink, yeah? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so pina colada parties, right? Yeah, well, the rule is you can't do this now. I probably get stamped for this, so. <laughs> we took pina colada party, right? Like pina colada, like we were like a whole lot of pina colada, right? Yeah. The rule was, if you're a female, you can only come if you came in your bra. Or what? Yeah. Yeah, you guys party really hard back then. That yeah, was not. We did. There was no such thing as like those kind of things. Yeah. Like when I joined, and like no one said anything. You know, it was back in like 1980s, 1990s. You know, of course yeah, you can't yeah. do it now. You know, different time. No. Yeah. 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 But we had so much of good times, right? Dude, I'm sure. I, I I heard of stories like, even in the barracks, they're still written things like on the walls yeah. and stuff that nobody like got rid of, yeah. like especially the tree. Oh yeah. You know how many shoes are up on there? Oh yeah, plenty. Like every time someone leaves, like like uh, ETSs, mm -hmm. they throw their shoes, up, their boots up there. Yeah. And there's hundreds of tree, hundreds of uh, boots up so there. So another story. Even some with money. Yeah. To be honest. So my first duty station army was eight four three eight of French artillery, right? And it's eighty eight. Artillery? Yeah. Eight of French artillery. Oh shit, I didn't know you were part of artillery. Yeah. My first duty station, right? Oh wow. And we used to call ADA another dick in your ass. What? We used to call ADA another dick another dick in your ass. Why? Because they have they used to fuck you all the time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're 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 stuck with like like bullshit missions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So one time with the field, right? We came back. And the thing is, you just gotta, you should take a lot of ammo, right? And the thing is, supposed to shoot all the ammo in the field, right? You don't bury in the dirt like everybody else. I know y'all all do that. We used to fire it off, right? Yeah. And so we come back, you know, back in those days, like you had to, back in those days, you had to, you had to come back, had to clean everything, or whatever, right? And so we go back to the barracks, right? And we, it's a small town, we give a stop, maybe 10,000 people, right? And we had like a bunch of M50s, right? Oh. And so we come back from the field, we're in the bedroom, right? Everything's done, right? We're drinking. Sure. And we heard, we heard, Boom, boom, boom. Like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, what happened? These fucking dumbasses. Don't tell me. Forgot to fire off their shit. And they, they had extra rounds, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they decided, you know, not getting in trouble, they shoot the rounds off on base. What? They didn't do it into the barrel? To the town. Oh, into the town. Yeah. That's like those assholes that shoot. Be you know, you know, like when you go to range, there's that 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 line. Yeah. Like, don't shoot past this level or whatever yeah, it is, right? Past it, right? Yeah, whatever. Everybody shoots past. And as soon as you hear that sound, you're like, "Oh shit, this is not good." We were on lockdown for like a week, right? Dude, I remember. The city investigated. It was like it, it was not good, right? Damn, yeah, it was dude, good, right? it's almost like you lost an NVG or something. Yeah. It was that bad. Imagine you're on Fort Lewis and you decide to shoot a fucking some 50 rounds. Oh, it, you you got shot 50 rounds? They shot off 50 rounds. Oh, dude, somebody got hurt. Y'all crazy. Because <laughs> they're like, yeah, we have to get rid of it. Yeah, fucking shoot at the target or fucking bury it in the dude, ground like everybody off, else. Yeah. Like, we, had, we were told to get rid of our rounds. And we, we, the, the excuse was we were told to get rid of our rounds. Yeah. We forgot to do it downrange. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the way you do it here. Well, but as I'm... soon as you hear that sound, you know, 50 is like, sounds like it's, it's distinction, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, shit. This is not good. Damn. But y'all are all... Wait, wait. Were you officers at the time? I was enlisted. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Then. Even then, yeah. <laughs> even then, it's like, god damn. Well, I mean, hey, you only know what you're known, yeah, what but, you're told. Yeah, but it wasn't me, it's the other people, right? Yeah, yeah. And here's another army story. So in Germany, I was there. It's a, it's a thing called, I think it's all, all forging, right? We turn up forces of Germany, right? Except you do all the time. 
Okay. It's like a month long guess like, right? My guy, I think his name is P.F.C. McCoy, right? He's always getting in trouble, right? Did you say P.F.C.? McCoy, yeah. Oh, shit. So, damn, I've been out of military so long. Oh, E3. E3. Oh, E4. E3. E3, yeah. But he was like, really good at his job, right? Always got in trouble, right? Yeah. Like, he was a surveyor, right? He was a fucking great at his job, right? And so, supposedly, he was driving around. Him, <laughs> he's like, other people are driving around. That's like a, back there was like a fucking a cut V, right? Basically, like a Ford Bronco. For, no, it's not a Humvee, a cut V, like a, like a, hum, like a Ford Bronco, basically, right? Okay. And so you're driving around, right? Doing this stuff, right? And it, it's like snow, like, no, that's not right. Damn. And he's driving. Or, yeah. We're in Germany. Oh, okay, yeah. And you're driving, and like, he sees the people on the side of the road broke down. He picks them up, right? <laughs> picks them up. Hey, how you doing? Um, we need to go to. I need to go here and here. Hey, here's a case of beer. Have a beer. Want to? Damn. The dude was a fucking oh six. Oh, the one that broke down. Yeah. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> he, up. he fucked up. That guy fucked yeah, up. Man, what, happened? What, what happened? What happened? Uh, he got demoted E1. Man, kept, what a douchebag. They kept promoted again. He's, he, they do, he still fucking does his job right. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, what a douchebag. That guy stopped over and helped him. Yeah. However, the whole alcohol thing was a different story. <laughs> I mean, back then, he had a fucking case of fucking German beer. Yeah, country. well, he's, I, I'm sure he's trying to get rid of it. Yeah. Because, you know, you can't yeah. go on that shit on base, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you, that's you're fucking crazy. Insane, right? The super super Germany. And then, like, um, so my friend Alan Rogers, he's he passed away now. He got killed in Iraq, right? So he's a chaplain assistant, right? What did he how he died? He's stepping on like a fucking IED and uh, that. What's fucked up? He, he stepped on IED the day before he's supposed to go back to home, right? Dude, kind of fucked up, right? Fucked up. So he's my hero. So we stationed in, in, in Germany, right? Okay. So he was a chaplain assistant, right? What was that? He's a chaplain assistant. Oh chaplain assistant. Chaplain, chaplain assistant. Oh, chaplain assistant. Yeah. Oh shit! Guess, guess how we would go to the club? Not with the chaplain assistant. He ain't going nowhere with that dude. Yes. Ah, that guy's boring. Yes. yes. Ah. In the chaplain vehicle. You guys are crazy. <laughs> Man, it's a shit. different story. We would fuck that shit behind the fucking club. <laughs> y'all, up. y'all are crazy. We would come back on base, and I would act like fucking. We like fucking drunk and shit, and he would like, hey, I. I I picked this dudes up. They called me the fucking drunk as fuck, you know. Oh, so he had to act straight. Yeah. <laughs> and one time, it was oh, me, man. me, Alan, and my friend Kiyoki, right? And so this restaurant. Same Kiyoki I, I met? Yes, yes. Holy shit, you guys know each other that long? That long, yeah. That's my wow. Friend. And so there's a restaurant. It's a Italian restaurant, maybe like 30 minutes drive from some base, right? Great Italian food, Don't right? Call me Dollar Walk. Great Italian food. And... We were order a Labrusso wine, right? It's like a glass like this. Each glass was like four marks, would be three dollars, right? We were in like a year, right? Ordering a Labrusso wine, eating sure. food, food like bad, food sure. damn, food sure. damn good, right? Sure. And so one time, there's a new new way to waiter, right? Um, you know, you can buy the whole bottle. So each each glass, like there's three of us. Yeah. Like twelve marks, like six dollars. You do know if you buy the whole bottle, it's like twelve bucks, right? Yeah. Okay, Easy. but. You have to drink the whole bottle here. The bottle is like this fucking big, oh, right? Easy. Big There's four fuck. of y'all's. Yes. And so we drink two bottles, right? We're drunk as fuck, right? Oh. We go back. The officers are. Kyoki, well, we were enlisted back then. Oh, you were enlisted. We were enlisted. Okay, I got it. And so Kyoki is driving the front seat. Ellen's in the back behind Kyoki. Which, which part did you go through? The, the McCord or the. No, we were doing Germany. Oh, oh sorry. Yeah, Germany. Germany. Yep. And so Alan's like, Kyoki drives past the fuck, right? Alan's like, slow down, Kyoki. Stop the back head. Stop the back head. Slow down. Kyoki, like, Alan, if you slap me one time, I'm going to stop this car in the next town and put you in the trunk. Wait, you told me this story before. Maybe so. Yeah. And so you guys smack into something. No, then... that's a different story. Oh, okay. Sorry. And so you see that? that and this so guy has two Alan, stories. Alan slaps him one more time. Yeah. And Kyoki was saying, he goes to the next town. Gets that car. Alan jumps out. We're like, we're like, we're like it's a pretty recent April, right? All the cars are BMWs, Mercedes, Lexus, fucking Porsches. Like y'all in Dubai? <laughs> we're in fucking sometime in Germany. You guys right? don't have boots. They're like, run over fucking other cars, right? 
Yeah. Eventually, Kelsey catches them, puts them in the trunk, right? Yeah. And then, so we're driving. Kelsey, I mean, Alan's like kicking the car, kicking the trunk, whatever. Finally slows down, right? Yeah. We finally get a base. Go in the fucking gate. Kelsey is like, because we, we will forget about Alan, right? Like, we have no idea he's in the fucking trunk, right? We forget. No, you know he's in the trunk. No, we forget. Oh, you guys forgot. We forgot. That wasn't even that far. It's like 30 minutes drive. If y'all's been in Germany, it's, a, it's a pretty, we it forget. wasn't 30 minutes, it's by the way. Nah, we, we it's close. It's almost... We forget. All you heard was something like, let me the fuck out. Let me the fuck out. When you guys are at the gate. Yeah. Oh, my God. That that was my fear when I snuck girls in, in Fort Lewis. It's, you know how they're in the trunk, yeah. right? You know the MPs, they yeah. know that yeah. they might be a girl or whatever. Yeah. But now they, they have no choice but to check. They check every trunk, yeah. It's so fucked up. But back then, it was a, it was easier. It route. was so funny. We're like, and we forgot, oh shit, Adam's back there. Damn. So you guys left that guy in there for 30 minutes. Yeah. I'm surprised. Oh, wait. They didn't have those back then, huh? No. The one that you could pull and pop yeah, up. The... I don't think they did, yeah. No, no, no. It's it's the newer yeah. cars that have those now. Yeah. That one's my god, though, man. I miss him. This is a good yeah. friend. Yeah. I'm sorry that happened to yeah. him. Like, did he step on a landmine or? Ah, he did. He stepped on it, yeah. Supposedly, like, from right here, like, he was like, um, so he was a chapter assistant listed. But you weren't there to no. see it. He went to RTC, became an MI officer. Yeah. He, he worked for the, like, the MI. General. How old was he? Oh, man. I couldn't, I don't know. What uh, does he look like? 18, 19, 20? No, he's old. Yeah. He was like off, like 30, 34. Oh, okay. He was a major at the time. Oh, he was a major. And suppose like, he's like one of the MIT teams. And the last day they say, don't have to go. I said, no, I have to go out with my people. I can't do that right. I'm not going to do that. And like, that's like, that's the day there. Oh, on. so he was driving, not actually walking. No, he was walking, yeah. Oh, he was walking yeah, and stepped step on. on yeah. with, oh, okay. with the people, yeah. And what's kind of cool, like, um, is his, uh, I don't know, he's up to his funeral on, and, uh, what's that shit called? Arlington Cemetery? Yeah. It's like fucking the Secretary of Defense went, like a thousand people were there. It's pretty cool, right? A lot of people respect him, right? Sure. Yeah. I miss my guy. I, I know you do, man. There's nothing that I could... There's nothing that you, you could say that would ever make you feel better uh -huh. about that stuff. Like I, I can't, I can't one hundred percent relate, but I can relate. Yeah. Because every person's different. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they take it differently. Yeah, he's a good person. Uh huh. Yeah, man. My guy. All right. Before we wrap up the night. What kind of stupid shit have you done in the military as a officer? Because I'm sure all the enlisted people, if they was to watch, I doubt that. But as an officer, what kind of stupid shit? Other than, hold on, the known stupid shit. They, when we're training, they're out there drinking and having fun and riding around pretending they're the, the enemy. Okay. Other than that shit. What other, what stupid shit as an officer, because officer has the most fun. If y'all are going to join the military, please decide to join officer, not enlisted like me. So whatsoever. We're in, I'm an elite, right? I'm an officer. I'm a command. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the commander of the company, right? Yeah. And we're crazy, boy, right? Me, three or four other people, right? Three or four other people. Damn, yeah. you got a, you got a squad yeah, in there. My car is full, right? Damn, you got a squad a BMW. Of, of bad bad actors, huh? Yeah. And um now I'm so fucking drunk, man. I'm 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 beyond fucking drunk. No, right now or like no, when... back then. Right? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And yeah. so I remember BMW and I pull out and I go in, uh, I'm I go in front of the club. Like immediately the fucking pull outs that pulled me over, right? In front of the fucking club. The polis. Oh, Sorry. you're you're Not in the it. Plus, the, the what are the time places are called, right? Huh? The time place. I can't think of the time place are called. No, uh, polis are German. Yeah, I, what are they I, called, don't, right? I don't know. I like they pulled me over as they sir, like you're fucking drunk as shit. We're gonna take you to jail. I said no. Uh, I talked about stuff out of it. I said my my um 
My guy's gonna drive right. Yeah. Which guy? The, the one that's more drunk than you. <laughs> Fuck. But I have a, you just told me all four of you. Uh, was it four of you are all fucked yeah. up? But I have a BMW, a manual, right? Just doing how to drive a fucking manual. So somehow I talk him through driving lights. But you're racing on the autobahn. No, strip? we're not bottom. So when you drive the parking lot, I said, dude, I can't take this anymore, right? Yeah. I said, dude, get the fuck out. I'm gonna drive right. So you went back after the fact you got in trouble. And guess what I do? What do you do? I drive pack I drive back past the police. Did you go reverse? No. We drove up forward. My guy was killing me, like, dude, you're killing me. Like, like you don't have to drive a fucking stick. What the fuck are you doing, right? Oh yeah. Drive I mean, not here. a lot of people. Come on, man. Yeah. I was like, okay, get the fuck out. I get in the fucking car, turn the car around, and drive pack, drive past the front of the club, past the fucking police again. I'm like, sir, you fucking stupid. Fuck. I don't even know how you're still alive, bro. I don't even know. I should do some fucking stupid shit. Man. Like, bro, like compare. If you want to compare I'm, me, I'm, and... I'm the fucking epitome of fucking. I don't give a fuck. Exactly. That's why you got that tattoo. If you compare me to you, like, like say we're the same age, mm-hmm. like you would completely, to be honest, you probably would be like, dude, this square bear, don't invite him anywhere. Because when I was in the military, all I was focused on is understanding like the, the weapon system that we yeah. were doing, like the point target, yeah. the, like the, it, I, it was, the it was area like, target, like I, I was, it's funny if you drive from Ball. the time police, my people in the car. Did you just drive by the PSA people fucking like fucking pull you over about to arrest you? Yeah, the same one. Dude, that's why if I was to go back in time, I should have did it. But I should have went uh, for an officer. Mm. But I was worried that my brother in law, his name at the time, his name was Bun. He was a sniper, you know, went to war or whatever. He told me, he said, watch out. The recruiters are going to fuck with you. Yeah. And they're going to put you in shit that you don't want to do. So I scored a 95 in my AS- ASVAB yeah. test. They said, you want to do rip? And I said, fuck no. I want to do infantry. Yeah. Because in my mind, I'm thinking that they're fucking with me. Yeah. Right. They want to they do airborne. And I was like, fuck no. Let, I want infantry. And they're like, you sure? And I, I had to think about it for a while, right? Not, like, when I say a while, I'm talking about four hours. <laughs> you know, like, literally. <laughs> you know what I'm seeing? Yeah. Like, so I, I was like, no, fucking infantry all the way. When I get into infantry, I realized, I was like, oh, my God, I'm an idiot. Yeah. I realized what RIP was, the Ranger like training yeah. thing, yeah. airborne and all this stuff. So it, it was, it was kind of too late. Yeah. Right. However, I think the thing that I got out of it is like, okay, these guys are going to be sneaky as hell because they're officers. Most of the ones I was talking to were all officers. Yeah. They're, they're butter bars. So most likely they just got in the military and trying to like, recruit people or whatever. Yeah. But then again, there was some, I don't know. I haven't seen an NCO that was recruiting, but anyways, the, the one I was recruiting me was a butter bar. Yeah. Yeah. And he, and the first phrase he said, same thing as the, uh, the Marines. I was like, I don't want you. I'm like, okay, fuck you. Then I'm going to the army and the army, the army guy. I remember this white dude with like really su- super short hair. And I ran it two miles in 18 minutes, like super slow. And he's like, all right, you're good to go. But your after uh, score is really high. Yeah. You're good to go. He didn't tell me what RIP was. He didn't yeah. tell me what Airborne was. He didn't tell me what 97, 97 uniform was, you know, like all that yeah. shit. I had to find that out when I was in service. And I yeah. was just like, I wish somebody would. A lot of crews fuck you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing like, is, they don't even honest. get. They don't even get a, like a commission or nothing. They they, they That's fuck. so stupid. Like I don't understand. So here's a question for you. Yeah. Are you happy with the life right now? Fuck yeah. Yeah. I'm happy with my life. I'm happy with what I went through. However, 
some of the stuff that I went through, like I wish I never repeat. Yeah. However, I think it's because of B Doc time. I can't sleep. Yeah. You know, because you're in, in, on B Doc, you're like yeah. consistently like circling shit. And my army buddies, you guys would know what Lake uh, Bondo, I think they, that's what they were nicknaming it Lake Bondo or some bullshit. It was just a sewer area where like all the, the poop and pee go to. Yeah. And it stinks. You know. Wait, what's your next tattoo? You know, I, I, I thought of that a, a lot lately. And I think the next tattoo I'm going to get is a butterfly and a bird. The butterfly representing my, my daughter, Mookie. The bird represents Yuki. Just because Mookie, you know, like, the butterfly, it, it, it represents like like peace, harmony, and like like something beautiful, right? Yeah. Like like change your like a point of view. Cause I was I mean, I'm still like that. You know, I I I, I carry a gun everywhere I go. Yeah. I have literally knives every corner of my house. If something happens, I have a knife. Yeah. Like within like ten yeah. ten feet away. And then as far as a bird, it represents like me letting go of the army. And that's why I kept like fumbling with all this like verbiage and all stuff because I decided I have to let go. Yeah. I mean, I'm not that cool where I have like fucking 60 fucking I mean, points. Like, I, mean, like, I appreciate the life the army gave me, but still like the army was like, man. like It doesn't make like you are who you are, yeah. right? Like. Yes, the army does shape you how you like become, but you have always been who you are. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's how I felt about the military too. Like, I was the only one with the dog tag that said "bud." That's crazy. And I thought it was gangster as heck. I was like, so, "Oh shit!" It says "bud," like the weed bud, you know. This supposed to. And I didn't came, even smoke weed back then. This supposed to came to you today and said, "Hey." So I joined the army. What were you telling? I would tell them, consider it. Maybe join the air force, because they get to mess with cool technology. Let me rephrase that. What if someone came to you and said, "Hey, I want to join the military." Okay, that that's a different one because when they say something like that, that means they they have they have a goal and what they want to achieve. That's a pretty. Like, I almost forgot the cameras here. I'm always gonna say this. It's almost to the point where you're like, you, you tell them like how you, you would tell your son. Mm -hmm. Take it carefully. Yeah. Why do you want to join the, the military? What branch of the military? Why do you want to join that? Now, if they say Air Force, hell fuck yeah. You know, there's hell of, kid you not. Being in the infantry, okay, sorry, this is getting like kind of sidetracked. But being infantry, I remember one instant I was in the chow hall, right? I was in chow in Iraq and I smelled perfume. Not just me, every single soldier that was with me smelled perfume. And it was odd because in, in you know, in the infantry, there, there's hardly any women at the time, right? Mm -hmm. But when you start smell, you smell like this very beautiful scent. I'm a sexy smell. Like, yeah, maybe it's sexy, but at the time, it's like, you can't tell what it it's is. It's like a non-man smell. Yes. Yes. A non-man smell. And did you not, I was standing next to this dude. My best friend, Ursel, if he watches, he will understand. Yeah, I think it was Bob Warhorse at the time. And we smelled like literally a perfume smell. Mm -hmm. I can't even focus on eating. Yeah. All I wanted to do is just come closer to the smell. Like the, the, the fragrance, right? Like not like I'm a pervert or mm -hmm. anything. It's just like, dude, 
you're out there like 10 months, 12 months, nine months, whatever it may be. You do not see a single woman, yeah. right? But you smell something beautiful. I mean, like you can't see it, obviously. You smell something sweet, floral, or whatever. And the only thing that goes in your mind, it shuts down your hunger. And you're just like, oh my God, there's someone that smells really good here from the men, right? And then you see those, those, uh, those, uh, Delta Force or whatever. And you're just like, no, it's definitely not you. <laughs> you know what I mean? You smell like blood. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. but anyways, it's easy to track in, right? Like you, you can start smelling, right? But if I was to like relive my, my life and knowing that the knowledge I know, I, I may still just join the army still the same way. Yeah. I just don't know why. So this is it's not like I'm not gun ho or anything. Yeah. Like I'm Buddhist, right? Like I don't want to kill anything or yeah. do anything. But I would not want to change my life. This is what I tell people, right? I tell people like if you want to join the military, it's all fine and good. Like don't join the military and do like twenty years, right? Oh yeah. Like join the military, do your four years, six years, get a GI Bill, get a benefits. Now don't get me wrong. If you join the military and like you're, you're a hard charger and like you're uh, like, you got and, whole and they tell you like, hey, you have a chance to make colonel or general or our major, that's, that's, stay in, right? Yeah. Like do your four, six years, yeah. like succeed, get the benefits. Yeah. You get, yeah. The, you get the fucking, you know, medical. You're right. You're right. You're right. You get the medical GI Bill, the VA loan, and get the fuck Sorry, out. I'll, when I was saying that, I was thinking really personal. Yeah. But you're right. That is like, it. Do, if I think about take it now, advantage of those you're right. Gives you. Exactly. Like, I would do it. Get out. Exactly what you're saying. Four, six years. Get the yep. free college for you or whatever, you exactly. know. Exactly. You might sex four, six years, but, you know. No, don't. You might go to college 24, you want yeah, 18, yeah, yeah. You, might, you know. You, then you again, don't like, want to retire in the military. 20 years sounds short. I did 25 a long fucking time. And no, my body, it's a long and my body, fucking time. And my body's fucked right now. Oh, I know. I know. Don't get me wrong. Like you're in the military, you're like you're you're like you're a fucking superstar. They say, hey, you were a superstar like, at one point, and then like, you start diminishing. Yeah, you do. Like think about the military, however good you are, you eventually gotta leave, right? Exactly. If you're like Tom Brown, and they say, hey, Tom Brown, you're gonna be top of class. You're gonna do this, that. You're gonna make mm -hmm. general. Maybe you stay in, right? Sure. But most people do your six, eight like years. You go to green and gold. Do your six, eight years, the fuck yeah. out, right? Yeah. Get, your, get your VA loan, your free medical. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yep. And then you know the funny thing is the moment your your eyesight diminish, that's when it starts getting weird on you. You know, yeah. uh, everyone's body breaks down eventually. Exactly. I mean, you can't have super sharp eyes all the time. Look, look, I have glasses now. Yeah. I never had glasses. You know, dude. Ever for the longest time, I had like ten ten vision. Hmm. I, for a long time, I had ten ten vision. You know, I believe it. Nine and twenty, I had ten ten. Then like like that, like from ten ten, like fucking, like, I'm fucking blind. Like everyone's like, oh, twenty twenty is a good vision. I was like, no, you I have no I, idea, bro. I had fucking ten ten. Yeah, all like the time. I had ten sixteen view like I could all see the time forever. And then, like, no, I can like, see very sharply. Yeah, it's like oh shit, I can't see shit. It's like that. Yep, to the point where I'm burning the my iron sight just so like the glare doesn't like pop on it, and. People in the basic training, please do that because that will help you out. And also, put the rifle in your your your. What is this called? I don't know, but y'all y'all see me. Put the rifle there, and then aim like that. Point at your target. Do you think you can see through? Oh yeah. Do you still like get expert? Yep. I could. I still shoot for the M sixteen M every. I promise you. Actually, I'm super confident, but did you see you were fucking blind? Huh? You see you didn't you say you were blind? I am a little bit. You I have glasses see? now. Okay. But I can still do it. You wanna go? You wanna go, man? Let's go. Jason. Anything else you want to talk about? No, that's it. Like we should end it. Yeah. 
Thanks for watching, y'all. If y'all watching, if y'all not. Anyways, thank you. Because the next time you're going to see us, we're going to be at the shooting range. Exactly. All right, everyone. Thanks for your time today. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye.